Hey, 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 Wiz, can you guess? <laughs> can you guess who I'm voting for? Mm -hmm. Can you guess who I'm voting uh, for? Well, you're very boring, so I'm gonna guess uh, what? Labour. I'm not gonna vote for Labour. Fuck those guys. Those guys are fascists. They're, we're, they're more right wing than the Tories. I watched a Vosh video the other day that said just as much. All right, you know, let's just sneak past it. This is gonna take fucking forever. All right, hold on. Hop on my back. Kissing her legs. Hop on my back. Hop on my back. Yeah, oh. I'm off. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait, how did you get up there? I think you're forgetting I'm, I'm magic. Can I copy your homework? Stop, stop. I'm stuck no, in question three. Wait, who are you voting for? Whatever the Scottish one is. I'm putting I'm putting Starmer. Why do you, why don't you just put in Starmer and we'll see what happens. I think London has fallen. Uh, it looks like he's in the Houses of Parliament. Um, we should probably oh, hit some bunker. I think we're fucked, yeah. That's not good. He's, uh, he's stomping about. He's having, a, he's having a great time. He looks like he's having a lot of fun, at least. The uh, based Labour government has uh, completely fucking nuked the Conservative government. Very cool. Massive landslide. Um, it's a bit of a shallow landslide in that they, they won lots of seats, but they didn't win a huge amount of voter share. However, uh, some people have a different perspective than I do, including Vosh, who says, Labour enjoys embarrassing non-victory as doom looms over the UK. Now, <laughs> holy can, shit! can you see how angry I got? Look, I actually clicked dislike. I don't remember doing that, but I literally clicked dislike. That's how mad I was. It made me so angry, I engaged. Oh, I have never, I can't remember That's the last awful. time. I can't remember the last time I clicked dislike on the video. I must have, I must have entered like a rage-filled fugue state, killed my wife and then clicked dislike. That's the only... The dislike, dude, dislike. Dislike, dude. Down vote, dude. That's getting a down vote from me. Oh, man, I'm so mad. Okay, so this is a very short video, and then we're going to look at the longer video where Vosh embarrasses himself much further, so. Dude, epic anime intro, dude. Love it's very suspect. All right, guys, I'm still out there on vacation, having a great time. Uh, you know who's also having... I like how he's adopted the Tim Pool... Thing for his Duma bullshit. He's actually dressing like Tim. I think he's adopted the coach. What's going on there? Yeah. He's fucking blending in. He's in deep camo. He's, he's camo sneaking about somebody's house. He's hiding. He's hiding from the federal government after they wanted to find out what else was on his hard drive. He's in hiding. Hey, I'm on vacation, guys. Anyway, here's the shaky cam from my bunker. I've been hiding in the couch cushions for like yeah. the next two weeks. Which, to be fair, we're hiding. We're hiding in a bunker as well. So I, I don't think we can actually levy that critique at him too harshly. I think Vosh, hope you're having fun. I'm sorry to you though, but we will be destroying your man. I'm sorry. I love you, but I hate Vosh more than I love you. Keir Starmer. Whoa. Kind of. That was about as an embarrassing of a result as you could get while still having a labor blowout. If you take a look at the actual... Embarrassing result. Do you want to explain Probably that one to me? the biggest result they've ever the had. Most, the most <laughs> embarrassing result you could have while having a labor blowout. Like... What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oxymoron, no, but, dude. Do you know what I... So, actually, when I was looking at the exit polls, right, like, so there was a chance that the far-right party were going to get a bunch of seats. They, they were estimated to get about 13, 14 seats. And then they ended up getting, like, five in total. I remember Bonk was there on the exit polls. We were we were watching, and I was like, oh, fuck. This First is off, let's establish, let's establish how well Labour did. I oh, think yeah, that's sure. an important thing here. Yeah, you're right. Show, you're the, right, you're the, right. show the numbers. Get the little cool infographics up. Yeah, yeah, we'll get, the, we'll get the BBC. I love BBC's infographics. They do a good job. Uh, this is, look at this, this is embarrassing, by the way. Do you know who this is embarrassing <laughs> for? Vosh and the Conservatives, which, by the way, same people. <laughs> at this point, same people. Look at this shit. Embarrassing. They, they, they have like a 170 seat majority. It's insane. That when's the last time they had this many seats? It's fucking mental, dude. Yeah. I don't think they've ever had this many seats. Isn't that the yeah, whole point? Th this might be the max seats they've ever had. How did Blair I, do back in the day? I think, I think it was since the 1920s. Blair had a slightly bigger share, like a slightly bigger share. This Insane, guy called people dude. to vote for Insane. Biden. Insane. Cringe. But yeah, this is the thing, is that he is applying completely different... He considers himself a reasonable, like, leftist, in, in uh, and he pushes people towards, you know, uh, engaging with electoralism in America for the sake of voting for Biden. Not realizing that Starmer is objectively a much better candidate, politician, and just all-round good lad compared to Biden, and also doesn't have brain damage. But Biden, even, even like, the... If we're doing co like comparisons wise, Biden's closer to the Tories than they are at Labour. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But especially think, on like like most political issues, especially like Israel Palestine stuff like that, you know. Oh, by the way, I know that chat is going to trigger me today, which is why we are absolutely prepared for you fuckers to call in. Starmer is the typical empty suit. No. What 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 makes you say that, Glutness? What makes you say that? Actually, what is the evidence for that? Empty suit. Well, he is boring. Empty suit. 
He he's not even well. Okay, he's a little. He's bit. a gluttonous. You should have said he's the typical beige suit. <laughs> That's true. He's not an empty suit. He's got clear principles. He was a human rights lawyer for like thirty fucking years. He's been engaged in a million different important cases, both you know against the government and for the government in some cases. Like you can't call him an empty suit. He's been a civil servant that's been involved in politics for a very long time with a very very clear record of involvement in various different human rights cases. I knew literally nothing about Star until five minutes ago. Welcome to the stream, Melanie. You're about to learn. Cool votes versus seats. It was an incredibly disproportionate election. Labor swept in seats, but barely got any more votes than they did before. In fact, I think they got fewer votes than they did during a recent election when Corbyn was the uh, head of the party. The reason. So the issue with this is that Corbyn's election uh, basically just dumped shitloads of the same seats in the same constituencies. Corbyn was very good at getting very deep support in left-wing constituencies, but totally failed to get any kind of center-left support across the rest Wider. of the country. Yeah, exactly. It was very, very deep, but not very, very wide. Uh, whereas uh, Sama is very, very wide. Especially his head. But he's got the depth of a puddle, dude. Yeah. He's vapid. People didn't turn out because they knew Labour would win. Yeah, but it was mostly Tories that didn't turn out. I think if you look at the if you look at the turnout stats, most of the lost percentage points were on the Tory side, not on the Labour side. He's championing social. He's champagne socialism without the socialism. Oh, how wrong you are! Don't worry, we'll get to it. Why they gained so many seats was rather because uh, Tory supporters who were disillusioned with their ineffective party uh moved over to the hitlerite reform party who argues conveniently that all of britain's many 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 issues can be solved by just being more racist and xenophobic isn't that convenient uh i don't expect keir starmer's government to last very long yeah also the total lack of understanding he has he thinks that he thinks that reformer le pen and they're really not like they're very anti-immigration but like actually they're like, like democrats uh, yeah, Hitlerite is such a dumb fucking. Well, they like, literally, literally look at what the Democrats are doing about border <laughs> policy, and it looks like reform stuff. Yeah, they just re yeah, yes, exactly. Like Biden is basically moving down the that right wing line on immigration. It's it's insane to make any comparisons between U.S. politics and U.K. politics, or like have certain stances on U.S. politics, and then when talking about U.K. politics, have an entirely different set of stances, yeah. especially when you tell yourself as left wing. Smug not even reading the part where I give Starmer props. Well, the reason I didn't read it is because the props you gave Starmer were worthless, right? He fucked the Tories and I have to give that to him. Like, that, uh, it's not, that's not really, that's not- It's not really giving him anything. You're just the, you're Tories just the Tories did well, did poorly because of themselves. Yeah, yeah, It's more a case of, like, both parties lost, you yeah. know? Now, to be clear- You said nothing good about Starmer there. Yeah, if you look, if you look at the election, right? Now, if I was in Starmer's position and I had an incompetent uh, opposition party that was just, like, collapsing in front of me, I would say as little as possible and allow them to make all of the unforced errors they're making. Why would I- why would I fuck up a good thing by throwing out stuff that they can use against me? I would sh keep my fucking mouth shut as much as possible and just let them collapse. And you know what? You know what? Fucking works, didn't it? It was a good tactic. It was an incredible tactic. The Conservatives collapsed. Labour scooped up fucking everything. Tactical voting went up the fucking wazoo. The Lib Dems conquered all of the fucking seats that they could against the Conservatives, and everything else was scooped up by Labour. It was an incredible strategy. It worked incredibly well. That's why I called him an empty suit, as bland as British food. Um, He's a bit bland, don't get me wrong. But empty suit, I don't think it's because empty suit sounds like he's just like a shell that's being manipulated or used for someone else's gain, or like he has no principles internally, which he clearly does. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It did work. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. I'm mad at everyone. Always. Uh, his strategy on the campaign trail while leading ahead of the Tories was just, uh, what if we took every promise and principle the Labour Party stood for and just pulled back on it and adjusted it and means tested it to appeal more and more to. Okay, so first of all, means testing it, lie. There is no mean, means testing in the in the in the labor agenda. He's just making that up. He's making that up because that's a fucking thing that shows up in American politics, but the UK doesn't have that kind of mean testing as part of the agenda right now. Like that's not that's not been involved. You're, oh, Wiz, I'm not getting any audio from. I hope you didn't say anything important in the past uh, ten minutes because my Bluetooth headset disconnected. Excellent, that's fine. You 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 aren't really involved. Tory voters, TERFs, J.K. Rowling specifically, wheedling down every Focus promise groups, yeah. and bit that made the Labour Party even remotely distinct. Uh, you know. 
So what, what Vosh is referring to here is the original ten pledges, which we will get into. The pl uh, the promises made, well, the pledges... I shall not by, steal. Yeah, the pledges made by Starmer and the Labour Party in 2020, so four years ago. You know, really fulfilling that, like, Blairite pledge. So, deeply embarrassing. Uh, I don't expect the Labour Party to get much good done during their time in power. Uh, the Reform Party is the one that, even though gaining basically no seats, got plenty of votes... Uh, and, 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 and do keep in mind that, you know, uh, the Labour Party got fewer votes than the Tories and Reform did combine. Though, of course, if you add in the Greens and the Lib Dems, that coalition with the Tories just barely ekes out. It's not good, folks. I, this know? sort of implies that he thinks, if this election is happening again in a couple of years' time, he thinks Labour, uh, Reform will beat Labour because of yeah. their, their number, their high volume of votes in very selected areas. But you're comparing four seats to like 400. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's yeah. an insane. Expect, yeah, Vosh is literally like, yeah, insane of course, reach. Of course, of course, Reform can 100x their performance in four years. What is yeah. wrong with him? Clearly, clearly, it's going to be a much bigger threat, and it's because he can't give up this narrative that the far right are coming, yeah. that the entirety of Europe is spiraling into fucking blackness, yeah. which is not the case because we've seen from Fr France's most recent results yes. that that's not happening. You know, yeah, in fact, we're seeing the opposite happen. And it's I, to be celebrated. Yeah, we're finally seeing right-wing popular... We're finally seeing the left get their basic... And really, this is the... I would say the far left is not involved in this, but the centre-left to, like, nearly the far left has, has basically gotten its shit together in terms of coalition... Um, and is starting to be willing to fight against the common enemy of right-wing populism, which is fantastic. Like, the fact that there was a win in, in France and the UK in such quick succession is so important. Like, the now there's like, fuck man, there's like a left-wing France-UK coalition, one country in the EU, one country with a special relationship yep. with America. Like, that's a really positive force to happen right before Trump wins the election. And it will influence <laughs> everything else. Everything yeah. else will bubble over. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's funny, it, whilst America fucking spirals, the rest yeah. of the world are starting to move on from it. We're kind of figuring it out, yeah. Like, oh god, man. I've not, I've not had hope. Maybe that's why I'm angry. It's because this is the first time in genuinely, like, five years I've had any hope for the future. But, like, this, every, I've been, I've been fucking consuming every, watch me get disappointed in, like, six months and just backtrack all of this. <laughs> but I, I've been consuming every single fucking tiny little tidbit that Labour is putting out and all of the news around. All uh, the British, we already had it's the election. Like we can't vote reform. It already happened. Sorry, buddy. It was a couple of days ago. You missed it. Oh, no. You missed the vote, dude. Oh, you could have. You That's a, this is a disaster. Oh, bro. You missed the vote. It was a couple of days ago. Don't forget your voter ID. Lost, yeah, you're fucked. It already, Sorry, it already happened, dude. It already Sorry, happened. Buddy. Hey, British, what do you think of Keir Starmer? Average reform. Oh, no. This is why reform lost the vote. <laughs> <laughs> they missed it, dude. Oh, they missed no. it. Yeah, I. <laughs> all I had to do, all I had to do, was put some leaflets in saying that it was, it was on the, yeah. on, the <laughs> on the tenth of July, and they all missed it. Oh no. It's a disaster. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I love democracy, except when you're participating in it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the real rising star here is the Reform Party, because, again, the <clears throat> sweep hey, look, of... Hey, Vosh, Vosh is pro-reform as Vosh well, buddy. Stan. Yeah, there you go. Stan. Yeah, there you go. Right, ultra Rising star. It, it, it's an issue. Hope for the future, and Vosh is trying to shit on it. Well, no, no wonder Buggy's upset. We don't get a lot of hope over here in actual politics. Yeah, and look, I'm not, I'm not a hope tard, right? Like, I'm, I am, I am the principal doomer. I have, I have been doomed. Well, it's it's not hope. It has happened. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, I, no, sorry, Wiz. It's been so long since I've experienced <laughs> any positive emotions. I forgot that when, when a thing that is good <laughs> happens, it's not hope anymore. It's because, it's because. Yeah. I was, do you know why it's still hope? It's because I'm so traumatized that now every good thing that happens, I'm not, I'm not happy it happened. I'm hoping that it isn't taken away from me within the next 48 hours. That's what the hope is. Yeah. The hope is just, oh, and then it won't suddenly be disappeared out of nowhere. Oh, oh God, cope tard, yes. The Labour Party is an embarrassment. I don't know. Enjoy, uh, I suppose, the temporary slowing of oh. the UK's being made worse, you know? I, I think that the Tories are worse than the Labour Party on Temporary? average, though. God, with the compromises that the Labour Party have made, that Keir Starmer has made, who knows where they'll be in a few years. Who knows where they'll be in a few years? He thinks that the... He said this in his other video as well, but look at this. This was the, this was the line that made me want to fucking 
do commit violence in a video game in a bunker. Hey, there is no the opposition is crushed. Crushed. Yeah. Annihilated, dude. This is this is this is ten years. They, they are in the shitter for ten years now. This is it. You can't fix this in one term. You can. You can maybe say um, like a coalition bef- between yes. reform and conservatives, but even then, that would only damage reform's reputation. Yeah, no, I don't think it would work. That's where I, people are at. Con- the Conservative Party deleted their fucking Twitter account. <laughs> That's how bad it is. They deleted <laughs> their fucking Twitter account, dude. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. If anything, we'll see a rise of Lib Dem. There's a good yes, chance Lib Dem I, might grow in strength in the next couple of years. And it could be, it can now be going forward that Lib Dem and Labour are head in head and then Reform's just under them. And Reform just takes the part of the Conservatives. Because it yeah. is going to be a thing where, um, to continue to exist, the Conservatives will just have to take in Reform. They'll yeah. have to combine. Otherwise, they, they're nothing. They can't be like the, the less right-wing, right-wing party. You know, that's not going to fucking yeah. work. So either yeah. the Conservatives jump onto the reform ship or the reform ship jumps onto the Conservatives, which yeah, is probably yeah, more yeah. likely, but still ineffective. But even then, like, uh, the, it is actually true. I'm pretty sure the share... So the share between the Conservative and reform vote was, like, 38%, and I think Labour was 39, right? Like, well, that, that was... The, sorry, the Labour-LD coalition was, was the... Like, but essentially... It has skewed a couple of percentage points in the other direction, where now the majority is in the left-wing coalition that doesn't exist but would exist if the, you know the, there's a minority government um, compared yeah. to the conservative reform double up. Probably it's crazy that Lib Dems are a party again. Did he mention Lib Dems yeah. at all? No, he hasn't. Of course, because he, he doesn't know what they are. He doesn't know anything. He knows nothing. That's knows the nothing. real rising star. He knows literally nothing the at all. New stars are formed, but the rising star is Lib Dem. Yeah, reform. Five seats. Uh, this is the end of democracy. Uh, liberal Democrats plus 64 <laughs> seats. Who are the Liberal Democrats? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Liberal? <laughs> liberal? What are you? A fucking <laughs> liberal? Democrat? <laughs> we can't rely on a party called the Liberals. Yeah. Things can change pretty fast, especially if you're only 30% to win 50% of the seats. Uh, but that's not... No, but the interesting no, question, though, right, will be: combine. Where do you think the Lib Dems will place themselves on the right or on the left of Labour? Both. I think I think they're going to flank either side. I think they're probably going to take some left wing economic positions, and they're probably going to take. They're probably going to be the. I don't because I think they're very so obviously they're very socially progressive. I reckon Lib Dem are going to do something like they're the Weed Party, dude. Uh, yeah, weed. That was exactly what I was going to say. They're going to they're going to they're going to do a legalized weed thing. That will probably boost them another 30, 40 seats. Um, and then who knows? Maybe they'll enter into a coalition, and the coalition will just be the. Which, by the way, Ed Davey has fully set them up for a weed party. Like, right? Like his his entire vibe. <laughs> he's I'm fucking high in a canoe, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be fucking blazing out <laughs> while skydiving. That's I'm fucking doing acid and bungee jumping. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, Bonk, that's also, I think, yeah, the left-wing Labour MPs as well. They're probably going to, um, they, they'll, they'll probably fo- end up forming, like, a backbench coalition. Yeah, I, well, I wonder if there'll be any, like, party migration, right? Because yeah. there's a lot of Labour MPs that got snuffed, the more progressive ones, right? Yeah. And I wonder if they might see positions going in Lib Dem, who might position themselves as more left-wing, mm-hmm. and jumping onto that. Did you just turn on an air purifier? Yeah, yes, and cope. Hope. You fucking London bitch. I turned on the fan because you don't let me open my windows because you say there's too much noise. Yeah, dude, I don't. I, I like yeah. hearing you panting. <laughs> it's so hot, I'm melting. <laughs> London apartment climate. Jeremy Corbyn Lib Dem arc. <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> Jeremy Lib Dem. That'd be fucking Thanks. insane, dude. Smoke totally farted, yeah. Maybe they'll be made. I heard Bug was going to destroy Isha Legal today. Oh yes. Oh, don't worry. Whoa. We'll get to this bitch. Um, also, for the for the Americans, the crazy thing about the Lib Dem leader, he had all these accusations of being boring, right? So he just went out and started bungee jumping and shit. Like Which, that was to be his, fair, to be that fair, was his response. Giga Chad, Giga to being so boring. That's kind of incredible. Like I'm fully on board. That's it was a genius maneuver. They just and filmed it, him being a stuntman for about like six months. It, it genuinely worked. Who would have thought that that was a viable yeah. tactic? He's like, I'm just gonna fuck around, and everyone liked it. That's great. Everyone yeah. forgot about Nick Clegg. It was perfect. Yeah, yeah. He, he's the fun kind of boring. Reform voters. I don't know. 
You don't know. That's true. That's correct. That's the only. That's the only correct thing he said in this entire <laughs> video. I don't know. Correct. Stay silent. Biden's interview drops tomorrow. Hope that one goes well. American politics, yuck. Okay, right. So this is a video he put out like what nine months ago. Um, the video says the UK Labour Party is anti-socialist, anti-trans, and pretty bad all around. Wow. Dislike, real quick. There you go. Dislike. <laughs> <laughs> You're so well, petty, I, dude. You're I so didn't, petty. I didn't, I didn't dislike it already, so I had to, had to, had to dislike. Yeah. Also, um, disliking means you don't get it recommended, and you live for shit like this. I, I oh, makes me too angry. I can't get this recommended anymore. All right. So uh, I watched the first 60 seconds of this and it already made me angry and I was like, we need to watch this on stream. <laughs> Bosh, I am Thanks, begging you. Fathers. Stop bad-mouthing Labour. They are our only hope against Tory. Oh, this was my donation. I donated to him. Uh, <laughs> Vosh, I'm begging you. Stop bad pounds. They are, uh, oh, and it was 10 pounds. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I guess the difference is that, like, the Labour Party has done things that might actually break that. The Dems are bad and all, but, like, the big thing with the Dems is that they were kind of unfair to Bernie Sanders in the primary. And the thing with the Labour Party <sighs> is that they literally self-sabotaged the party to get Corbyn out. Like, up to the point where, like, like literally, like, sabotaging the party, like, tearing it apart from the inside just to get like right. blairite governance in from within and then they immediately retracted and reneged in a bunch of principles i think the Dem corbin did enough of that himself okay <laughs> so this is a really so today the, the 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 point of today's stream we're going to be going through uh this extremely long twitter thread about about everything bad that stalin has ever done right um one of the biggest common critiques and probably one of the main reasons that leftists hate Starmer is that they've concocted this insane conspiracy that puts Starmer at the heart of a labor-wide uh fucking uh, self-destructive tendency to try and destroy Corbyn. Now it is based on some truth, but that truth doesn't really touch Starmer in any meaningful way and um one of the big problems that leftists have had is that Starmer hasn't done a good enough job at dealing with the self-destructive tendencies of the right wing of the party when the left was in control. Um, but he yep. did. They commissioned the Ford report, which is a massive fucking investigation into all of that shit, including a bunch of the really discriminatory fucked up shit that a bunch of the right wingers were saying about the left wingers within the Labour Party. So they literally did commission an entire report exp uh, going through, breaking down, explaining all of the fuck ups. And then they took like a hundred different fucking follow up actions in order to prevent it from ever happening again. I really like Corbyn. Oh, also, also gang, make sure to join the Discord. And if you wanted us to look at anything about this, drop it in the politics channel. Yeah, There's a little fucking new politics channel, and we'll look at it on stream. So join the Discord, dump all your uh, weird in internet politic bullshit in there, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll look this at is, it. This is a rare opportunity UK, UK, UK. for you to yell at me so that I can scream at you back, okay? Because I'm very... Oh, uh, yeah, and you can join us as well. You can come yeah, talk. Yeah. Corbyn should have stayed as a backbencher. Yeah, the Matt Ford report, Starmer. Yeah, Starmer Insider. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, Starmer, Starmer wrote it overnight himself and then just published it under someone else's name. That's true. I just don't like his vibe. That's so leftism, bro. <laughs> bro, that's so that's so socialist, bro. That's it. You know whose vibe I like? Stalin. Good vibes. Good vibes all around. Uh, uh, Wiz, do your best Valley Girl. Uh, oh wait, you do it all the time. My best the, Valley Girl. No, you do the you do the boys. I'm like from the Welsh Valleys. Oh, you're the worst. You're the Over worst. the hills and far away. Actual Actually, worst. Wales. I'm from Wales. Welcome to the Welsh Valleys. So smug and wizard Blairite. That's my ah, valley, bro. You've been poisoned as well, Wiz. It's over. <laughs> You're in Blairite too. Hey, who do you think I voted for? Yeah. Do you think I voted for Labour in Scotland? Do I look like an idiot? I voted for Tony Blair. <laughs> he will forget. He will forget, dude. Yeah. I actually, I didn't even I would have voted Greens. I, I genuinely... I, I genu voted SMP. SMP is quite shite at the moment, though. Yeah. They're, like, very shite at the by moment. By the way... I don't trust them. The fact that the number one policy issue in 2024 was independence is fucking crazy. That's it's so funny. tone deaf. Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. It's so tone deaf. This looks like a the, the amount of problems that are going on in Scotland and they're still hyper-fixated is because they're clinging on to their fucking... their it's fucking over. victory, you know? Independence is done. Uh, am I disheartened that Labour won so many seats? Absolutely, though. No! <laughs> they don't give a fuck about Stay Scotland. Stay mad! I like um, it, I'd rather... I'd have much rathered... What? The Scottish Labour guy seems decent. He seems alright. He seems like a nice fella. 
I don't have any problems. No, he was in before and fucking obliterated Glasgow. Oh really? He did oh, bad uh, when he was in control of Glasgow. Oh really? Okay, I'll, I'll take, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll investigate that as a whole side thing. I have, a, I have a ten thousand word doc that has every single cabinet minister. I forgot to add the Scotland guy to it. I'll, I'll, I'll. What was his name? Oh, she did, dude. Yeah, well, because Scotland's barely relevant. I mean, who cares, dude? You guys barely have, like, wow. you're in the country, really. Look like a fucking Londoner. True. You know. Did I tell you? This might be dog's full info, but my constituency <laughs> had a reform option. Oh, there was wow. a reform guy. And I was like, I had no, nobody had heard, I was talking with other people. Your constituency has seven constituency, people, brother. And none of them, pardon? Your constituency has seven people and six of them are nuclear yeah. engineers. <laughs> that literally, literally, yes. But it's like, <laughs> we, were, we were talking about it and we we're like, who is the reform guy? None of us had ever yeah. heard of him. I think he'd That's just funny. been like, yeah, I've got approval. I'm running for this party. I have no campaign and nobody knows who I am. Well, but I'm thing. an option there. That was the thing with reform. They approved a bunch of random candidates and then a bunch of them said insane shit and they had to quickly start scraping candidates away because they were... But where, where I am is niche yeah. beyond niche. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Insane. Reform in Scotland, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Democrats haven't done anything like that. So, I, like, I don't, I don't know, <sighs> you know? Corbyn was a loser who destroyed us. No, it, no, he wasn't. It was the Labour Party. The Labour Party undermined it because they couldn't stand a socialist being at the head. Remember that Blair was friends with no, the public hated they... him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the public, the public fucking despised Corbyn. Now you can absolutely attribute that to the media, whatever, fervor about him, like obviously, but that doesn't change the fact that he was a toxic personality. Like he was someone or a toxic character. He had been, po you know, the well had been poisoned so thoroughly that. Yes, a lot of people weren't voting Labour specifically because they hated Corbyn and no other reason. Yeah. He was also all that was left with fucking Miliband stepping down. Basically, yeah. God, imagine... Oh, no. Imagine imagine the world. Imagine the world if uh, Miliband had won. That would have been... That been Miliband for PM? What happened to him, dude? He fucking disappeared. He's, he's the energy secretary now. It's great. What? How have I he's not heard energy. that? Yeah, he's the energy secretary, dude. He's back. All media appearances so gone forever. Where has yeah. that man been in I'm the so face excited. of... He was up for PM and like yeah. suddenly it's like like he yeah. never fucking existed. Nope, he's been brought back in as energy secretary. Do you think I'm he did excited. something? No, I don't think so. I think I think he was just I think he was just unpopular. He he had a shot and then he, I think he got disillusioned and he just took it easy for a bit. Genuinely, that seems to be the vibe I got. He was like, yeah. they, these are still just people. Like he he had this big shot and he was really disappointed. And he was like, well, fuck, what's the point? Ugh. And so he just went back to being an MP for a while and didn't really do very much uh, front bench shit. Um, probably read a wrote a book and did a bunch of speaking. Also, his brother like, wasn't his brother up for something as well. Uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, it no, not Ed. Uh, People used to act like Dave. his brother was uh, the prince Dave. that was promised. Dave Miliband? Dave? Was it Dave? No, what was his name? David? David, yeah, yeah. David, yeah. He did a podcast. Oh, yeah, Miliband did a podcast. I remember that now. Ed was a bit forgettable. It was a sandwich that took him down. What was that incident again? It was the bacon sandwich. That is sandwich. ringing the bells, but it's something I've not thought about in ages. Ed Miliband... I can't remember. It's the what top is result. It? It's the top result. This is how destroyed it was. It was the top <laughs> result, dude. Basically, one picture... One picture destroyed this man's entire career, and it was the way he ate. Oh his yeah, sandwich. yeah. <laughs> oh that was yeah, it. that's so funny. He ate a bacon sandwich that's incorrectly. So <laughs> this is how fucked. <laughs> this is how fucked our politics is. Our prime minister, uh, our, our prime minister in waiting, ate a bacon sandwich incorrectly, and it destroyed his career. Well, no, that's how it used to be. It used to be like scandals or Mike Winston's yeah. would cause the fall. Because there's also like a, and you're going to hate me for this comparison, there's a bit in Doctor Who where <gasps> um, the doctor takes down the prime minister by saying, doesn't you, don't you think she looks a bit tired? Because at the time, that's how UK oh, politics actually, worked. It was all that these... Was, that was actually a baller line. That little catchphrase. That was, uh, I, yeah, I it's a baller line, that. but like, that wouldn't fucking work in a modern day Tory. If, yeah. uh, if the no, doctor said not. that about fucking Boris, he'd uh, still be fucking blown up aliens yeah yeah Boris would be <laughs> yeah but, well I have been all the time I was out partying all night Be we're going to get for that later thank you doctor thank you doctor worst part of Doctor Who is canonically the doctor's friends with Winston Churchill <laughs> that's funny <laughs> this, it, when I watched that episode, I was like, "No, Doctor, you can't have Winston Churchill on speed dial." Like but at the same uh, time, that episode that Winston Churchill uses Daleks to fight the Germans. That's so. kind of wait. That's based. Hold on a minute. That's based. 
Anti-Nazi <laughs> Nazis. Just Nazis to kill Nazis. Yeah, that's cool, dude. That's cool. I like the how, Nazi metaphor you know is stronger than the real Nazi. You know what's you know what's really funny is that oh you know what I should just oh, I should just F eleven. Um, you know what's really funny is that we showed the picture of the bacon sandwich and multiple people in chat seem to have had the reaction of oh yeah no that's career destroying yeah no absolutely I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad they were like oh yeah that's fucking diabolical yeah no it's over. <laughs> oh my god we're so coked dude. One, oh, one behind me, put it in the Discord. Put it the link in the Discord, please. Yeah, fucking yeah. politics channel. Hashtag Thank politics. You. Thank you. Then Thank we can you. click it. Hey, anyway, can we watch the fucking video? I need to scream, Vosh. Please self sabotage the party to get Corbin out. Like uh, Labour Party, the Labour Party undermined it because they couldn't stand a socialist being at the head. Remember that Blair was friends with Rupert Murdoch at least until Murdoch's wife cheated on him with Blair. I don't actually know all that drama. Isn't Corbyn also giga <laughs> pro Russia? Look, he's not giga pro Russia. He does the same dumb shit every online lefty does when it comes to Russia. It, it okay, this is correct. Yes, uh, I I am generally pro Corbyn. I like Corbyn. I was a huge fan of Corbyn. I was I was inspired by Corbyn. His manifesto was like yeah before the, he became a Blairite. <laughs> um, but but it, it's not even the look. Oh no, dude, you you fucking you pissing me off. Okay. Look, at the end of the day, I've I've realized, I've realized, I think I've realized. Look, I am I'm still a far left anti blah 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 blah. But will a, can a Corbyn get elected? I don't think so. Electorally, it doesn't work. He clearly doesn't work. It can't work in this current political landscape. That's what I mean. For this I political think, current political landscape, yeah. what we needed was a centrist to bring yes. to bring those fucking crazy people down south yeah. back to the level. But like, look at look yeah. at how drained the economy is. Like, like the Labour government has gone into power and it's basically gone. We're looking at it, and we've got basically about ten billion pounds to spend on new shit and nothing else, which is nothing. That's no money. That's absolutely no money. So, like, you couldn't fund any social socialist program unless you suddenly adopted MMT and just rolled the dice on your entire institution, which has been running, who which has been run by conservatives for fourteen years. So the level of skill in the government has dropped for fourteen years. Well. Um, wasn't yeah, the has. theory back in the day that you want you want a Labour party to follow a Conservative one because the Conservative one would save up a bunch of money for the Labour to then spend? That was the sort of um, oh really interesting. At least the way they that. used to paint it. That's the idea of the balance of the two. You have a uh, a fiscally <laughs> Conservative government followed by a fiscally um, uh, what's it called spending one, mm. and that way you have the budget for developments and stuff like that. However, that was broke in light of the 2008 financial crisis and the Tories well, well, Thatcher never broke quite that as well, because got she past sold that. Off a, well, Thatcher broke it, because the fucking, they sold off a shitload yeah, of... Yeah, also true. Like, the, the re, that stopped working with neoliberalism. Maybe that was the original plan. Yeah. But Thatcher sold off so Well, I don't know how much that's a real theory or just, like, something they'd say. You it know, sounds, to, like, it sounds like something... This is time for Labour now, or it's time for Conservatives now. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like something someone in the 1950s would have written in like a mainstream newspaper. Yes, well, obviously yeah. the, the whole idea of our British politics is that Labour spends the money and Conservative um, they conserve the money, and it's a wonderful nuanced back and forth. A wonderful system of two parties and only two parties, yeah. and democracy is an illusion. <laughs> Thatcher, Thatcher sold everything, and we just lived on the money until it ran. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It, look, Corbyn Crazy. has a, like some bad takes or whatever, but like, let's not pretend he's not better than like Tony Blair. Okay. Also, it's it's the self sabotage. Oh, yeah. The Democrats have never done anything like this. I guess the real well, question is: Is he better? Is, like, is he better than Tony Blair? Politically, ideologically, probably yes. But in terms of career achievement, no. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, um, child poverty. Like Blair to owned that fucking financial crisis. Yep. Well, His solution yeah, was Blair the one used across Europe, wasn't it? Blair, Blair and Gordon Brown, yeah. Yeah, the two of them, they both did, both did very, very well. Um, yeah, dude. Honestly, like, Blair achieved a lot. And again, I hate him. He's a smarmy fuck, his politics are bad. But child poverty was super low. Uh, NHS investment was an all-time high. Education investment was an all-time high. Like, at the end of the day, a Labour government is materially, really importantly better Thoughts on Oswald Mosley? You really are a reform voter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, he was a quirky guy. A quirky... Actually, you know what? Wait, wait, hold on. I know how to appeal to this guy. Um, I have... Uh, he was always in black and white. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like the fact that he was always in black and white. Also, um, British, jump in the Discord. We need people like you. For the yeah. cause, dude. For the cause. I wanna, I wanna, Wink. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to create an uh, all-factions political movement here, okay? All right. 
based around a mutual love of racism. Is this a point Whoa. where I would actively say that I think it would be better for Tories to win than for than for the people who did this? It would be better for Tories to win. I know. <laughs> Listen to, to be this. in power again because it's not just a matter of like policy on the table. A lot of politics is also trustworthiness. And if the Labour Party is currently captured by people who are, don't just do like the regular liberal thing of being uh, uh, abstainious and, and weak when it comes to fascism, Lush? who will literally yeah. like tank their own party in response to people like Corbyn. I mean, if that's he just what has to be ignorant here, as to what the Tories have done, clearly. Well, that's the right? thing. He doesn't know anything about that's British the only politics. Way you'd say but this. He's speaking with authority on British politics. All he cares about is that Corbyn was a socialist, and that's it. That's all. That's all the information he has. He has no other information. And it's got nothing to do with trustworthiness. It's it's party yeah. management. It's normal political practice. Yeah, I mean, so again, it wasn't a night of a thousand knives. So what, that didn't happen. So the real, here's what, <laughs> I, I will say, here's what really happened, right? What happened was there were a bunch of WhatsApp groups that got leaked where right-wing members of the party were being mean and were calling out the soys and saying that they were idiots and cryberries and babies and or if if the, if someone set this little knobhead on fire, I wouldn't piss on him to put him out. They, they put, said shit like that. Not about Corbyn, but about the young, annoying leftist socialist people in the party who were very, very loud and annoying. And... Uh, Everything I've seen from that era suggests that they were incredibly fucking annoying. Do you think about the most frustrating DSA meetings you've seen? Those were the kinds of people in the party. Now, they may have done some material change and they had some good policies and they had some good politics, but holy shit, interpersonally, they're so insufferable, dude. These are 23 year olds to fucking 26 year olds who are just loudly screaming about every tiny little thing. We're screaming, oh, God, oh, it's just, it's just a wokey identity politics bullshit. So the old guard right wing set up these WhatsApp groups where they were like, oh, this is fucking miserable. I hate these people. I can't wait for Corbyn to lose. Oh my god, I, I, this is this sucks. And the biggest scandal in terms of actual impact on work was one of the people in the WhatsApp group said that they were using the WhatsApp group to type a lot so it looked like they were busy but actually they were doing nothing. One member of the WhatsApp group said that. And based on this, there is a whole fucking conspiracy about how the right wing deliberately sabotaged Corbyn, refused to do any work. This was just a few senior officials on the right end of the party. It wasn't the entire Labour Party, as Vosh has said. It wasn't like a a fucking vast conspiracy containing the entire infrastructure. It was some fucking WhatsApp groups. It was basically Discord channels where they were whining about they weren't doing any gay ops. They were literally just complaining that Corbyn was... But it, it, also, it also says a lot that when they did decide to put all those people out and reform the Labour Party, and it's now seen this level of success, that it yeah. probably needed done. There probably was yeah. a fundamental flaw that wasn't they people sabotaging. And even if that was the case, the fact that it couldn't, the party itself couldn't identify who was sabotaging, that's the sign of a weak party, you know? Yeah. Like, something needed to be done either yeah. way. Yeah, they were bad at politics and they were bad at appealing to people, which in a democracy you have to do. Yeah. I'd never have voted Corbyn in a million years. Mostly oh, I because uh, I voted for him. I, I wasn't in England at the time. Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. By the way, I say all this as someone who voted Green, but the more I've seen of the new Labour administration, <laughs> the more I the more I wish I'd voted Labour. To be fair, in my location, <laughs> Green, Green was a very strong second, so... Um, it was good to lend them. Could have been first, dude. Could have been first. Nah, they, they, Labour, Labour was like 10k. Could have been first. Labor. It was one vote away from first, and it was your yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Like, ge like, I genuinely don't know. I acknowledge that, looking purely at policy, Labour is significantly better than the Tories, mm -hmm. but how can you trust anything Labour says when these are the people running it? Like, how, how can you, like... How so again, these are not the people running it. These are not the people running it. These are yep. officials. They are parts of the party, but they are as much a part of the party as the people they were criticizing. And you know what? Those WhatsApp groups, the reason they got leaked is because these right-wingers are idiot boomers, and they accidentally uploaded all of the transcripts of the WhatsApp group to the internal fucking filing system. They accidentally leaked their own logs all over the fucking shop, and anyone could search the logs and find the transcripts. Now, the other side of the party apparently also had WhatsApp groups where they were all complaining about the right wing of the party. The only difference is those groups didn't get leaked. I wonder what the 20-year-old socialists were saying about the right wing officials. I wonder if they were making any put them up against the wall jokes. We'll never know because that didn't get leaked, but I'm pretty sure that shit's there because they hated each other. Ugh. How do you know? You know, like what like how do you know? 
I don't know. I've heard people say what the Dems did to Bernie was comparable to what they did to Corbyn. Then they're idiots. Then they don't know. Then they have no clue what they're talking about then. They have no idea. Uh, what happened to Corbyn was insane. What happened to Bernie was like pretty predictable and like like standard internal party like political bias. Not to say it's defensible. It's not. But like the difference is enormous. How legit are the anti-Semitic accusations against Corbyn? So hmm. <laughs> where do we think he's they're going somewhat this legitimate? Yeah, they're somewhat legitimate though, because he did meet with fucking leaders of Hamas and refer to them as friends. That now, did happen. Well, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So I, I, this is actually an area that I've had to defend Corbyn a lot on. That specific calling Hamas leaders friends, they were- Yeah, it was a nicism, but it still happened. Sure. He was like, just being it's friendly. Bad optics. But it's bad optics. despite being friendly, you're the leader of your fucking country should not respond. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Speak That's to- true. It was a potential PM. It's not a, a, just yeah, a, yeah. a normal MP fuck up. You know, different standards, different standards entirely. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's, I think that's a, that's a valid critique. Um, also, there were lots of officials doing weird shit. For example, there is some uh, significant animosity between the black community and the Jewish community um, in America as well, I think. But it's it, it, there's a strong streak of it in the UK. There's a lot of black uh, groups who seem to kind of buy into some of the Jewish conspiracies about financial control. Um there were there was a oh, what was his name Wadsworth. There was a black leader who literally uh, called uh, called a Jewish Labour MP uh, a hostile white and said that she was in cahoots with the media when she tried to ask him a basic question about a press release that he put out. Uh, like there was like a, a genuine anti-Semitic streak throughout the party because of course like there was a huge anti-Zionist streak throughout the party and we've all seen how that shit looks. When you just allow anti-Zionists who are anti-Semitic, not the same thing, but plenty of overlap. If you let them into your side of the coalition, it's very easy for that to get excessive very, very quickly. If you call Netanyahu a friend, that's suddenly fine. That's totally a non-issue. huh? Netanyahu is a state leader. It's a little bit different. Yeah, he's a like, recognized as, state leader and ally of the UK. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the plus. We, we do have a friendship relationship with Netanyahu. Yeah. That's the difference. So, so here's the issue, okay? Um, think of think of North Korea, right? Would you be okay with Trump calling, uh, saying, my friend Kim Jong Un? Probably not. K K is it Un or Il? I can't remember which one it is now. Um, Palestine's a state. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. Um, <laughs> the problem. Look at what you which have hat, gone all clear right? Which which hat am I wearing today, Melanie? Which hat am I wearing tonight? Huh? Yeah, exactly. All right, shut the fuck up. Wait, no. Wait, this is the pro-Israel hat. Uh, the anti-Israel hat. Fuck. Uh, where's my? There we go. I'll do it. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Now I'm now now I'm now I'm uh, anti uh, pro-Israel. Anti-Israel? I can't remember. I can't remember what's going on. Do the Nazis like Israel now because they're so Nazi-like? No, probably not. Smug disappoints again. I'm sorry. Technically, is observed. I don't give a shit. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, you, you you're making a, a bad comparison. Use someone different than Kim Jong Un because no, Trump has literally done that. That's why I used the comparison because it's a good example of something that was criticized in a world leader. But people were okay lending... with it. People no, were okay they weren't. With it. They weren't Trumpers. His were, base were okay with it. Yes, but I'm talking to the leftists. Who Whereas Corbyn's okay base were not. None of his. None of his. None of his base. None of his base are here in the room with us right now. I'm sorry. Okay, like I'm talking to the leftists Whoa. who complained about that shit when it happened. So. This is the thing, you're lending legitimacy to a group that has not earned legitimacy, and that's important in world politics. If Hamas wants to be called friends, they better kick out some of the more violent elements of their organization and go back to doing good state shit like they did back in the day. But they're not going to do that, so we shouldn't give them the reward of calling them friends or legitimizing them until they do the things that offer you legitimacy. Not only are they um, largely complete fluff and nonsense, but the cor the uh, the uh, Blairites in the Labour Party deliberately worsened them by failing to properly address like the media uh, accusations that he was anti-Semitic, and they fanned the flames to make their whole party seem more anti-Semitic just to make them less electorally viable. I actually don't know where he gets this. I, I like so it seems yeah. like. So, so the right wing within the party. So, okay, here's what Vosh's claim basically is: the right wing of the party destroyed the party by fanning the flames of false anti-Semitism accusations. No, Wait, the right. What, what the, fanning the flames? They all went on news and denied it and said he wasn't. That was the well, whole. No, well, yeah, but, but then, <laughs> the cover-up campaign was massive. Right, but the right wing of the party did. There were people who dissented and complained and walked away due to the anti-Semitism. But also, the they right walked wing away. Of the yeah, but then they weren't the, part of the yeah. party. 
Right, but the right wing of the Labour Party has a lot of Jewish people in it and has a lot of Zionists in it. So, like, yeah, they were they were complaining about the anti-Semitism. They weren't fanning the flames. They were saying, yeah, this is a. Re in fact, there were Labour MPs who who other MPs were being anti-Semitic to. So yes, fanning the flames, otherwise known as Jews going. Uh, yeah, I actually have experienced anti-Semitism. Here's the event that happened that you should also investigate. Because it was kind of fucked up when these guys uh, used some anti-Semitic fucking uh, conspiracy nonsense uh, when they were talking to me. Like, that is... Li fuck, uh, Rebecca Long-Bailey literally, like, uh, retweeted a fucking... Uh, anti-Semitic conspiracy about how the IDF trained the the George Floyd, Floyd guys to like kneel on his fucking neck. Like there's this oh there's this God. crazy. This is a black again. This is like the kind of black nationalism anti-Jew thing that like went around. But like there, there's a claim that the IDF fucking trained the the the, the guy who killed. I can't remember his name now. The guy who killed George Floyd to use that technique. Oh God, it wasn't that bad. That's a pretty bad conspiracy, actually. That probably is not going to do well for relations between the Jewish community and the black community when they're already fractured. And having the fucking wait, what was what was Rebecca Long Bailey's position? Wasn't she deputy? She was fucking deputy shadow PM at the time, wasn't she? Yeah, no, she was pretty high up. She was pretty fucking I, high it's up. It's a different. It's a different thing. Fuck ups. It's no, again. No, no, no. It would have been fine if the fuck up was in a vacuum, but it was oh. a fuck up in a very long oh, oh. line of anti-Semitic fuck ups. Oh, moose. Or anti-Semitic alluding fuck ups. Sorry. There Sorry, were moose. so many incidents. Moose. It's death by a thousand cuts of anti-Semitism. Moose, fuck up is fine. Do you know what wasn't fine? When Starmer went to her and said, "You really have to fucking delete this because you're killing us on the anti-Semitism thing," and she refused to delete it. It wasn't a mistake. She doubled down on it. She then later claimed that she wanted to have a full discussion and investigation before she decided to delete it. Starmer came away and was like, basically Starmer literally did a quote saying, if she just clicked one fucking button, she would still be in the party. She could have fucking deleted yep. the tweet. That was all she had to do, but she refused. She refused. That's cringe. Thank you. I appreciate you and I love you, Miss and give the press something to tear into them for just because they didn't like the fact that they were being led by Corbyn. Wait. Which, by the way, is basically how all the anti-Semitism shit went. Like, most of the people the, most of the people who got deselected or got in trouble, including Corbyn, were people who... It's not even that they fucked up and made mistakes. It's that they doubled down on them or they refused to change them yeah. because they said that the whole thing was a, was a fucking firing squad, right? So they refused to... Whereas anyone with any semblance of political <laughs> sense would have just fucking bitten the bullet and gone, yeah, that's bad, I'm sorry. They would have stayed in the party. They would have stayed in power! They would have had an opportunity to affect the Left country! Left-wing people not caring about optics? What is this, huh? I, uh, Which it with the party's yeah. right wing, who worked the HQ. I the that season. is the I, biggest battle, left-wing people, because even, even yeah. I, me and you are guilty of this. We don't give a shit about optics. That's true, yeah. Well, but that's the thing. Like, I, if someone I, came up to us and was like, delete this tweet, I'd be like, fuck off. Yeah, but that's the thing. If I got into... Well, here's the thing. In my... That's because the reason I don't care about... The, actually, Wiz, you're wrong. We do care about optics. You're a frog, and I'm a snail. We've completely divorced the optics so that we can do whatever the fuck we want. We created the conditions for us to have ridiculously No, optics. but you know what I mean. It's in terms of, like, political representation, yeah, yeah, yeah. not face. Idiot. Sure, sure, sure. I know. Idiot I know. guy. I know, but that's the reason I'm able to say whatever the fuck I want. Was there a Jewish MP that resigned over this? Yeah! Like, this is the thing. Like, this they wouldn't be... This is the thing. Imagine the conspiracy Jewish is, Jewish people felt uncomfortable being in the Labour Party. That was really true. Upset. They were There were Jews who were fucking leaving the Labour Party en masse. They just didn't feel safe. Enormous. How legit are the anti-Semitic accusations against Corbyn? So not only are they... Um Stayed in the power that money in politics from politically interest donors tends to cause... Okay, aside from the fact that that sentence is barely uh, coherent, are you suggesting that it is a bad idea for leftists to be in positions of political power? Are you saying that should not be the primary aim? Uh, mutual aid, uh, build up a d double set of power, uh, protest. All of this shit requires some level of liberal government in place, right? Socialism does not beat fascism. Socialism beats liberalism. You need a liberal government if you want any gains, right? Uh, what was that shit? Uh, uh, ContraPoints went on a banger, a fucking tweet shit show, right? Like, at the end of the day, everything that MLK did was also reinforced by the fact that the government was liberal enough to concede to his demands and to the civil rights movement's demands. A, a, a right wing party would have just gone, eh, fuck off, water cannons. Yeah. Right? Like, Don't it didn't fucking matter. It was just fucking, yeah, they just brutalized them. You need, you need people in power. 
Ideally, really, the way uh, I think the, the realistic way it's going to work is you get the center left into power because they're electable, and then the far left puts pressure on the center left. Center left prisms all of that pressure into optics that are palatable to the general electorate, and the far left talk to the people who are smart enough and sane enough to handle the insane torrent of bullshit that the far left throws at the center left. Like, that's it. They, they, they at least understand where the left is coming from. Genuinely. The center-left seems to have a decent understanding of, like, yeah, they're really ideolog uh, ideological. They tend not to care about optics. They're really principled, and it fucks everything up, so we can't do it their way. Ugh! Wasn't that Lonerbox's point? I don't know, man. I don't watch Lonerbox. Unless he raids us, then he's my favorite creator. We'll find out later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, largely complete fluff and nonsense, but the cor the uh, the uh, Blairites in the Labour Party deliberately worsened them by failing to properly address like the media uh, accusations that he was anti-Semitic, and they fanned the flames to make their whole party seem more anti-Semitic, just to make them less electorally viable and give the press something to tear into them for, just because they didn't like the fact that they were being led by Corbyn. Ugh. Wait, so Labour lost on purpose just to get rid of Corbyn? Yes. Ugh! Wait, it's fine. Sorry, sorry. Bruce says every bricklayer in the country should be made an MP. Then we'd have the ideal government. Dude, who's going to make the houses? And the little walls. I'm sorry, I yelled so loudly that I interrupted my partner's therapy. <laughs> it made me so angry. I understand why she needs it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. The MPs win. Yeah. By the way, British, uh, based. I agree. Yes. Let's just make every bricklayer an MP. Sure. That's fine. No, we literally- I, actually, br br I'm British. I would love to know what your fucking actual political take- Would you like to join the Discord and have a chat? I would love to find out a little bit more about you. MPs will yeah, be- Yeah, get on in houses. here, pal. Based. Based. Please, please hop in. I would love to chat. MPs, but then the MPs yeah. will become bricklayers, dude, and then they'll become MPs again. <gasps> it's a virtuous cycle. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. We found the- we found the- Maybe that's the, what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what we don't it's know. The, oh no, we're back to revolving door politics. That's why there's- that's why there's yeah. no, uh, normal guys in politics. Well, they're, they're, they're all bricklayers. Yeah, they're all bricklayers, yeah, yeah. Yes, no, yeah. explicitly, yes. That's not an exaggeration or like a turn of it. That is actually- It is an exaggeration. What they did, yeah. A huge ca uh, cache of um, leaked WhatsApp messages and emails show senior officials from the party's right wing who worked at its HQ became despondent as Labour climbed in the polls. They were, they were literally- Hey kids, do we think that this article is going to reinforce what uh, Vosh said, or do you think that he's going to create a whole additional narrative on top of it that doesn't quite describe what happened in the article? My account would be nuked if I opened up about my politics. Oh, uh, don't be, don't be a, a pussy. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be a pussy, would, dude. Hey, your account would be nuked if you opened up about your politics in YouTube chat, but not in voice chat. <laughs> yeah, dude, how are they going to fucking track you? Exactly, dude, they don't even know. As long as you've got a white voice, you'll be fine. Really, like a gigantic bucket of messages indicating that the Labour Party officials were angry and upset that the Labour Party was doing better because they okay. wanted Corbyn to fail because they were angry at Corbyn for. Uh, so this is all true, right? These are the WhatsApp groups. They're angry at Corbyn. They want Corbyn to fail. Uh, taking the party in a more leftward direction than um than uh, than, than Tony Blair. The 860-page document claims that, quote, an abnormal intensity of factional opposition to the party leader had inhibited the proper functioning of the Labour Party bureaucracy and contributed to a litany of mistakes in dealing with anti-Semitism, which it admits was a serious problem within the party. Genuinely insane. Okay, so what's crazy is a weird cut there as well in the edit. Um, crazy because... He literally just read something that completely contradicted his former statement. He said the anti-Semitism was completely made up and, uh, 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 and uh, exaggerated. But the document by the people being investigated for anti-Semitism also admitted anti-Semitism was a serious problem in the party. What? So the people that, that Vosh is defending, the Corbynites, said that anti -Semitism The bits he agrees with were true, the bits he disagrees with were lying. Okay? It's insane. Literally, he just read something that completely contradicted his opinion, and what did he just say? Insane, and moves on. He's a fucking hack, dude. I fucking hate this retard. Jesus Christ. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. I hate him so much, Wiz. I hate him so much. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. He's a fucking scam artist. Fuck. He's a weasley little fucking liar, dude. Whoa. I hate Vosh so much. Holy shit. As a party member, there was actually pretty bad anti-Semitism under Corbyn. Yeah, they let it get worse. Oh, and now he's... Oh, and he just pivots. He just pivots away as if that wasn't his original position. He read the article. It corrected him. Chat then says it, and he acts like that was his position the entire fucking time. Do you see that? He just yeah. flips. Yeah, his yeah, true. Is Did he say he likes Vosh? I can't tell. I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream. <laughs> they thought they saw the anti-Semitism angle as like 
a way of getting the media to attack Corbyn. So they deliberately worsened it, both by worsening the conditions and statements of anti-Semitism so and failing there, to address Bush. them properly and failing to respond to the them. The worsening implies worsening. it was there. What do you want leftists in the UK to do? I don't fucking know, dude. Your country's cooked. Holocaust survivor quit. No, nice dooming, yeah. What do you want leftists to do? Maybe vote for, uh, the Tories out? No, that's not going to be part it's of the labor. Prescription. After okay. being told not to speak at Memorial Day event, Stephen Kappos has resigned his membership after the party, the Labour Party. Has he party, outlined what he doesn't he like about Labour? If he spoke. No, of course like, not. He's like, just no. He's just making up. It's just vibe space. It's entirely vibe space. He's he no just stating like a an incident that happened, which caused party reform. But what does yeah. he think about the reformed party? So this is this is Bosch's entire thing. He will make a statement based on vibes. Then his chat will start dumping links at him, going, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's true. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this." And then he'll just start going through links and videos and little clips and stuff that reinforces his opinion based on what his chat feed. I uh, I it's can see why Lunarbox intentionally chose not to cover this because he would have oh! to destroy him. Yeah, I, I, I think, would have to I destroy think, him. Luckily, luckily. Uh, Lunarbox otherwise, is otherwise, otherwise, Lunarbox. I know you do this. You just sit there quietly and not react. <laughs> yeah, just if it if it's too. This bad. is one of two things. If he doesn't, if he doesn't want to start that fight, he sits there silently. Watch, no, watch up. out for Wiz, it, guys. Wiz, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut he doesn't up! Doesn't destiny a couple? Wiz, quite Wiz, a lot of the time. Wiz, shut up! Wiz, shut up! Shush! Shush! Wiz, Sometimes shut up, destiny says something, up, and he doesn't up, want to challenge up, it up, at that up, moment in time. Up, so he just goes quiet. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Okay, we love Loader Box. All right, and Loader Box is in a position. Where he can't attack these people. If only he supported two insane schizo attack dogs that could do it for him. Hmm. 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 Anyway, uh, oh wow, this looks really bad. Labour refused to let a Holocaust survivor quit, uh, uh speak at a Holocaust thingy? Wow, that's terrible. Oh my god, let's find out more. Wow, Spoke at a Holocaust bad. Memorial Day event organized by a left-wing group. So th this isn't under Corbyn's Labour Party, this is under Keir Starmer's Labour Party. This is current Labour Party. What is happening over there, TF? Well, uh, England, or, or Britain, I guess, is like a failed country, and it's like a, the, the last stages of a dying empire, so. Fully true, until Labour won. Stay mad, yeah. bitch. It's because of the group, that's all. What was the group? The socialist. What was America then? Oh, here we go. So, again, Chadda pushes back against him. It's because of the group. That's For a it. network. The Socialist Labour Network is a group which the NEC, the National Executive Committee of the party, has determined is incompatible with Labour Party values. Yeah, literally. The Keir Star. Oh, God. Okay. So, zero, zero additional information. I wonder where he's going to go with this. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Okay, no, it's fine. So it's fine. Okay, he's clearly what's going to happen here is he's going to he's going to look up the what do they call it? what do they call it the socialist uh, labor network. He's going to look them up and he's going to look uh, to see why they were blocked by the labor party because that would be that would be responsible. He's going to he's going to go look up the socialist labor network or whatever they're called and he's going to find out why they were originally blocked and see if it was sussy wussy and then he's going to explain why labor blocked them and why that hard line was held. Yeah? That's my prediction, okay? All right, guys, that's my prediction. Locking it in, locking in my prediction. Farmer's Labor Party is like, yeah, you can't, um, you, you can't uh, talk about your Holocaust survival experience because that the group that organized that is leftist, and we hate leftists so much that every other political like belief we have is completely subservient to that. All the stuff- Bruh. So, so the conclusion he comes to is the only reason- He should have just realized they hate old people. Uh, should we look up the Socialist Labour Network and find out why they actually got banned? Let's see, what they do? They kill someone? I think I, I, think I found something on this earlier. Okay. Have you got HDR on, dude? No. No, it looks fine. Shut okay. up. SLN was formed well, by the merger- membership crazy. Uh, was formed by the uh, merger. Do you know what's cheaper than a membership to the Socialist Labor Network? Membership to this channel. Let's go. We got several tiers. Now, even our lowest tier is cheaper than the lowest tier of membership for the Socialist Labor Party. Put your bucks where they'll be used effectively and rhetorically and intelligently. Incredible shit. Um, well if you donate to our most expensive tier, which is still cheaper than Socialist Labor Network's tier, uh, 45 pounds, you get a little bug. You get a. Look at this. Look at me below me that's dahlia we turned dahlia into a butterfly we got chaki over there he's a caterpillar we got a little cheat ant we got a little bambeetle bambooty bambeetle mm -hmm. 
I'm well, just saying, think about it. Think about good, it. Good chill. Yes, give us money. Anyway, um, SSLN was formed by the merger of Labor Against the Witch Hunt and Labor in Exile Network. These two names already give me a different vibe to Socialist Labor Network. <laughs> Let's see what Labor Against the Witch Hunt have done. Wikipedia. Led by former members of the Labor Party. Campaigns against what it regards as unfair disciplinary action taken by the Labour Party against its members, particularly in relation to such allegations of anti-Semitism activities. Or, or uh, LGBT class homophobia. Let's have a look here. Proscription. Law was proscribed, along with three other far-left factions, resist the Labour and Exile Network and Socialist Appeal on the grounds these organisations are not compatible with Labour's rules or our aims and values. These factions were sympathetic to former leader Jeremy Corbyn and have been accused of obstructing efforts to combat anti-Semitism within Labour. Well, there you go. So I basically, is there, right? Well, they basically... Well, actually, I, I think one of the... Oh, hold on, there was actually something else here. Uh, wasn't... Uh, we'll what, protest what the, the idea that this it needs where, to be looked into, right? Ah, this was That'll the rabbit the hole thing. I, this is the rabbit hole I fell down. Yep. Okay, so this is basically the guy that did the thing that I was mentioning. Mark Wadsworth. This is the guy who called a, 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 a Jewish uh, Labour MP uh, a hostile white and that she was working hand-in-hand -hand with the media, all like, you know, jew Um Very, very normal and based behaviour. And uh, it looks like these guys raised a bunch of money to defend him. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now... This article looks quite bad, right? Like, oh, a uh, poor Holocaust survivor doesn't get to speak at the Holocaust memorial thing, organized by people who are anti-Semitic. But, like, it's kind of reasonable for a party to say, don't work with a party that's literally trying to fuck us by downplaying and fighting back against our anti-Semitism investigations when a critical feature of this party is whether or not anti-Semitism is actually going to be, you know, on the... Uh, on the fucking ballot as one of the issues and reasons why people don't vote for Labour. Hey, Saxon, I see you. Oh. Saxon. I see you with my eyes. I'm watching with a, you. With a new account. With a new account. You silly Very guy. Exciting. With a new account. <laughs> we love Saxon. The watch Oscar, about watch Oscar fall like for it. Yeah. Here in America. It pales in comparison to like the uh, the Tony Blair, the Blairite uh, Labour Party people. It goes beyond just like they're liberals, therefore they're not good when it comes to dealing with fascism or whatever. Opposing socialism is their number one ideological goal. Star Fully incorrect. Their number one ideological goal is to win power because Labour has not been in government at this point for 14 fucking years. That is what their number one goal is. It's just to fucking win. Please, God, win. Please end the madness. Get us away from the fucking Tories ripping our country apart. That is their number one goal. It's a pretty admirable goal. Do you know someone who was in the way of that fucking goal? Unfortunately, much as I love him, Jeremy Corbyn was in the way of that goal. The anti-Semitism shit was definitely in the way of that goal. Farmer pretended to be a Corbynite when he was running uh, to be leader. At least Blair was a country that a bacon sandwich that can destroy you. Anti-Semitism yeah! is not what you want to be running it's with your leader. It's crazy, dude. It's like a bacon sandwich can end you. Anti-Semitism, nah, we'll work with it. It's fine. We'll just, we'll just, we'll double down on hating Jews. That's the play. That's the play. That's the play. I have this sneaking suspicion, all right? This is my conspiracy. This is my unsubstantiated Vosh-style claim. I have a suspicion that some of the reason that the pro-Palestine movement in this country is so insane is because they are essentially ex-Corbanites that are frustrated about the anti-Semitism allegations. They're still pent up and pissed off about that, and they're kind of using this as an opportunity to, uh, you know, win the argument in retrospect. They're trying to... They're trying to turn that anti-Semitism into something a bit more legitimate of a political movement. It's not to say it isn't a legitimate political movement, but I don't like the overlap I see between the Corbynites who were very, very sussy-wussy on the anti-Semitism stuff years ago, years ago, and the ones who are the loudest about pro-Palestine right now. It's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit spicy. Be anti-Semitism by not eating a bacon sandwich. <gasps> True. That's why Ed Miliband... That's why Ed Miliband didn't make it! He, he ate pork. That's it. The Jewish cabal stopped him too. We have to work with them. I just, I don't, I, yeah, I don't endorse like voting for the Labour Party. The, the idea of like, it's not just the Labour Party being like bad or whatever. It's the Labour Party seems to, at first principle, be an anti-socialist organization and will do anything within the purview of their power to ensure that socialism or even like left progressivism oh, just <clears> takes insane. no root in, in, in the UK. And everything else is secondary. 
Would you rather the Tories win? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, past the point, yeah, like, the lesser said, of two yeah. evils thing, like, it's really blurry, man. Like, that seems- How- how is this a difficult question to answer? How is this a different- Would you prefer the Tories win? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> it's- in, it's actually fucked. It's like it's controlled so opposition. Good. It's- it's- it's like so controlled bad that I genuinely don't even know what the point- what the, like, meaningful ideological distinction is. I don't know, I vote for Berlin. I wonder why he thinks they did so good. Like, uh, what is his reason for them winning? Like, if, it, I, if I was to sit Vosh down and be like, they didn't. why do you think Labour win. won this election? Reform, reform won, Wiz. That, that was his whole thing. <laughs> uh, Labour's share didn't change. Uh, and he doesn't understand uh, the electoral system, and he's not going to. So all he saw was the, was the share, and he was like, well, the share didn't change. Labour somehow won. Funky system, not going to look into that. Reform uh, got yeah, he was, yeah, I understand. He, yeah, it'll be like, yeah. oh yeah, Labour didn't won. They just maintained their position when all the other parties didn't. Really, all the other parties changed and Labour did not. Despite <laughs> Labour being the only party that changed. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, hey, Melanie, Melanie finally gave a base take. Real leftists never win. And then I stopped reading because I didn't want her to under uh, accidentally become incorrect later on in the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> it's true. Real leftists never win. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like there's some kind of fundamental dynamic at play there that prevents uh, far leftism from being compatible with electoralism. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should figure something else out, guys. Free system. Bosh, how do you not know? Labour is better than Tories, even if only margi uh, marginally. Okay. For one, the UK is a parliamentary system. There are other parties. For two, even if, if it's... I mean... I mean, what other left wing parties are there, Vosh? You talk about Greens? Greens? You talk about Greens, had, Vosh? Who, who nine months ago had t w one seat? One seat out of the. But Greens? Oh, they, there are there other, other options, Vosh, but they're not more left wing. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unless you want the SAP in, huh? You want the SAP in Westminster? If I'm always wrong, you want the why PM to be the, 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 the leader of the, the UK Parliament. Who, who, who is a member of the Scottish National Party? Is that what you want, Vosh? <laughs> uh, Mel, I'm not running. I'm very excited to talk to you soon, okay? I'm just trying to get through the bulk of the content, and then, then I will definitely Running? Talk to you. This is our show! I you're trying to, you're trying to fucking jump in! <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're not running yeah, when it's us presenting still. a topic! <laughs> I'm in a bunker right now, bitch! Try you're throwing yourself against the wall and you're <laughs> saying we're running! Donk. Donk! Let me in! Let me in! Starmer's outside! I'm trying to run! I'm trying uh, to run against this bare wall! Starmer! <laughs> Starmer's outside! He's, he's gonna- he's gonna use his fucking- he's gonna use his fucking Godzilla breath any second now! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> let me in! Let me in! Uh. <laughs> marginal, that a marginal difference might actually warrant, like, directing power towards the Lib Dems. And for three, I don't even know if the- if, if Labour is better than the Tories. Like, actually. Okay, I genuinely stop. don't. I'm gonna stop pausing you don't when know? he says that. You don't no, know? No, dude, I we know. Move. We have to move, dude. I know. We, no, we gotta just, we just gotta skip over. You don't know, Vosh? It's okay, dude. It's okay. Can't no, tell the difference between these two photos? It's, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, uh, clearly there's an obvious difference. One's red and one's blue. Yeah, there you but go. But beyond that, I don't think there's anything. Oh, God. Oh, I, I, like, there, there is no way to trust the party. I can trust the American Democrats to be, like, neoliberal at worst, maybe collaborationist through abstainious, uh, abstainiousness. You trust absolute me fucking worst, Tories like maybe, uh, with Tory policy. Best, maybe, That's like, where you can trust the fucking or, like, American Democrats. Like, no wonder, no wonder you can't tell the difference. Because if it was down to you, Vosh, you'd probably vote in the fucking Tories. You'd read the manifesto, you'd be like, I know Labour's bad because I know it in my head. But I've read the Tory manifesto, and because it aligns with Biden's fucking politics, well, I'm probably going to vote them because they must be the left-wing party. Because there must be no difference. I think I think he doesn't. He genuinely just has no idea what the Tories do. He, he just truly has not looked at a single thing that the Tories have done. I, I actually don't think he has. I don't think he could name a, a Tory policy other than economy did bad at some point for some reason. That's probably as close as he could get to any understanding of what actually happened in the last fourteen years. Insane dude. range that I can expect Insane, there, dude. but it seems yeah. Seems like there is no Calling yourself a with, leftist with and Eyes, advocating like, the Labour the exact same as the Tories? Insane. It, it, what's crazy is It's a built, politically it illiterate. Built, it is the definition no, he, of politically Wiz, illiterate. Was he built his fucking career complaining and arguing with leftists who refuse to vote for Biden? He literally built his career off the back of the same thing he's doing right now. He criticized the exact same behavior that he is currently exhibiting. It's insane. Bruh. Ugh.
Back check wrong. Even if Vosh was a UK citizen, he still would not read the full manifesto from either party. Uh, yeah, true. I don't. I don't think he knows. <laughs> he can only read chat, and probably because he's got a Biden earpiece in his ear with a uh, fucking rose wrist locked in a basement, feeding him lines. Like the Starmerites or whatever. It's just purely like, like, like nothing. They have nothing. They believe nothing. They were just angry that Corbyn led the party. They'll tear everything apart. They will. <laughs> Vosh thinks austerity is a trade deal. Australia. Yeah. Didn't they? <laughs> Aussie austerity. Yeah. <laughs> Actively give the election over to um the, the Tory. My rose wrist. Oh, one of the one of the fun anti Vosh conspiracy theories, which I believe is true, is that the only reason he was ever good at debates is because Rose Wrist would basically do all the research for him and then send him the research documents. And then and then eventually Rose Wrist got fucking nuked by the Demon Mama White Nervosa coalition. And coincidentally, Vosh started doing very, very poorly in debates and seemed to care a lot less about research because he's extremely lazy. That is my... Or it could be a case of he would prep for debates with Rose Wrist. Maybe not Rose yes. Wrist was the one giving him all the arguments, but it, he, no, he lost Rose the person Wrist all, that was helping Rose him. Rose Wrist did all the research, right? Like all, of his, like, all of his research docs were written by Rose Wrist, not by him. Which makes a lot of sense in retrospect, having, having read those research docs back in the day. I haven't seen Worries his fucking means, political but... read recently. Uh, uh, that a socialist loses. Under those circumstances, like, is it really that much better? Genuinely, I genuinely don't uh, know. Like, I'm, that's when I when like I say I don't know, that's what I mean. Like, I don't. Yeah. know. Don't what do you know? think of the greens? I don't know. If they're anything like the American greens, they're worthless. Vosh, you're actually mostly true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, no, that's mostly Fuck, true. Dude. They are they are pretty worthless. They're, they're not now. They're not worthless. Well, the American they're... greens are worthless, but they're no. more. They do have more impact than the fucking American greens. Well, yeah, but don't forget this was this was nine months ago when they only had one. I think you're thinking of months. fucking England as well. Now, you're forgetting it. Scotland was an SNP Greens coalition government probably at the time he recorded this video. Nah, don't worry about it. It's fine. You're talking shit right now. Where are you getting your phone? Wait, what am Bruh, I saying that's inaccurate <laughs> at all? What what am I saying that's inaccurate? I, we literally. What am, have I, what am I saying? It's not. I'm gonna fuck this. So now, now, oh my god, is he gonna go? Night is he ego. gonna revisit? Night ego his, has entered. Okay, yeah, <laughs> ego has entered the game. It's, <laughs> Ego has entered the arena. Look out. You now we're debating ego. Yeah, holy fuck. We were, we were debating ignorance. Now we debate ego. <laughs> yeah, true. The, the, we just looked at this right here. What do you... We we had... We, we just looked at this article that disproved half of the fucking points you made. What do you right mean? Right here. Reminder that Starner admitted there's not a single instance of trans violence with plans to repress them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Star Starner lied about everything running up to this. And now it's... Starner lied about everything! Starmer lied about everything! Starmer just lied about everything. That's it, that's where we're at. Starmer just lied about everything. Do you want to name a lie? It just seems like he wants to be the other Tory party. <laughs> name at least a lie? the Tories are honest about being Tories. Name as opposed a lie. to the Labour Party, which seems to be dishonest about being Tories. Name Theresa a lie? May outflanked Starner, the UK is actually cooked. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. He can't hear you, dude. Theresa May! You. I feel like he can hear me if I yell loud enough. Theresa May says she's woken. <laughs> Theresa May has outflanked. Unfucking believable Theresa May says she's woke and proud. Teresa. Outflanking the Labour. This is how well he understands British politics. Theresa May. <laughs> Theresa. 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 Labour Party. That's grim. Starmer, good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Angela Rayner's New Deal for working people is very good, though. It seems like any vestige of actual progressivism and Labour. Vestige. I have no. Her interest in the Labour Party can only exist when like tightly constrained by Keir Starmer and the uh, the Blairites in the party. Like there can't be any authentic progress from them. Everything is optical. Everything is like um. Is uh is is uh, uh, the, uh is he oh you know what maybe he's gonna play some uh, uh, you know uh um everything is a optical. show in the lead up to an election he's got he's got a fuck by the way he's got in the lead up to an election Vosh I wonder yeah. I wonder why everything's there's a big focus on optics wait, 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 in the lead up to got, an election li Vosh he literally has a straight up fucking socialist on screen right now Angela Rayner let's see. Maybe Even she'll if say she's yeah. like it's just so bad. I genuinely think that if Joe Biden like in his current form was the head of the yeah. Labour Party, they would do the same thing to him that they did to Corbyn. Genuinely. Yeah. Like, they are so Press far right. What? Whoa, whoa, to, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you hear what he just said? No, I'm barely paying attention. I can't do this anymore. Did you hear what he, he said? He said, he said, if Biden was the current leader of the Labour Party, they would do to him what they did to Corbyn. <sighs> I'm gonna move on. I can't. I can't engage with that. That's it's so Biden, whose politics are more right wing than then probably the Tory party. Yeah, fucking hell, dude. He's just yapping. I have no idea what he's talking about. I say, poor Vosh. Fucking insane. Man. What does he think Biden believes? What does he think Biden's politics are? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't. Uh, he just thinks Turf Island. What is, is this? A Nazi island. He just thinks it's Turf Island. His brain do you know, do you know what's island. fucking worse for trans people? Fucking yeah. America. Uh, America! 
I like how the angry you get, the more Scottish you get, especially when, when, whenever I, you, I break character. It's whenever awful. You, whenever, it's you, awful. Whenever, you, whenever you talk about, whenever you actually get into politics conversations, you get Scottish. It's really funny. I can feel your political yeah. Scotsman coming out. Ah, <laughs> fucking bullshit! Aye, 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 aye. I gotta push That's it all down. I gotta push yeah. it all down. <laughs> down, down. Mary, right, politics and Labour big wigs do a bad. Down. There you go. You gotta get back to British uh, broadcaster English. How can you not know your own president's beliefs? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. But like, that's the thing. I, are we you supposed to believe? Are we no. supposed to believe that the Vosh has read socialist theory and has also fucking really? uh, understood Biden's really? understood? politics and goes, "That's the left wing guy. That's the guy that represents the fucking left wing." And it must be the case in all countries. He's the best fucking left wing guy. The only one's better is Bernie. But Bernie's the most left wing <laughs> po political candidate that's ever fucking existed. He's the only time there's ever been a left-wing candidate that's ever fucking existed. Clearly, that must be the case, because America's the best fucking country in the world. Well, I can't listen to you, I'm just giggling at your funny accent. That's all I got, I'm sorry. I'm just giggling at your funny accent. It's very, it's very cute, it's a very cute accent. I can see why the girls like you. Bad thing, and Bosch attacks an entire party. What is, what is going on in your head? What is wrong with you people? They weren't some Labour bigwigs. Oh, no. They were the party. The entire, the entire party, party Bosch! <laughs> if the entire party <laughs> kicks you out, oh it's God. because you've got nah, the issue. Nah, it's not a betrayal nah, dude, then. Nah, Even dude, if it was nah, the entire dude. party. Nah, dude, if, it, if it was nah, the entire dude. party, nah, that just means nah, Corbyn was the issue. Nah, that dude. means Corbyn nah, was the nah, issue. Nah, because dude. if it's the entire nah. party thinking it right. that way, it's not a betrayal. Nah, dude. It's nah, dude. I'm, going to his, I'm going to his fucking house. Unless he thinks it's a fucking mutiny. Unless he thinks the leader of the party is like the captain of the fucking ship. I'm going to go to his fucking house. He wants to come with me, darling. You don't know who fucking political parties me. work either. I'm gonna, fucking, I'm gonna fucking, I'm going to his fucking house. I'm going to his fucking Whoa. house. Inside. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I can't, I can't deal with this anymore, dude. I'm going, I'm going, dude. TOS. This is, this is, this is clinically dumb, dude. Yeah, it's, it's so, he's so bad. He's so bad. He's so bad at his full-time job. He's, do you know who isn't bad at their full-time job? Keir Starmer. Sir Keir Starmer. Why is it? No, no, but even if he's this bad, why is he not doing better? But that's the thing. Do you know what I mean? What's crazy, Wiz, Wiz, we do this once a week. I have a full-time job. You paint minis <laughs> during your, during your 9 to 5. <laughs> I, imagine, imagine how much better we are than this guy. And he no, literally No, I mean, like, why this. is he not fucking, why is he not much bigger? If he's, like, this level of, like, <laughs> you, just, yeah. like, lying, willing to do whatever to get whatever world for you, why is he not fucking Hassan level? What the reason is because is he, never... he doesn't look like Hassan? No, it's it's not. It's, I'll tell you exactly why. It's because Vosh started off different to this, and so he ended up stuck in a position where he is bound to his original sort of style. Uh, in a way that Hassan never was. Hassan was always like a himbo, right? So he could just appeal to that instantly, and there's no like there's no background of him being like a debate bro and intellectual. But because he uh, started himself off as a debate bro intellectual, now he has to maintain this like pseudo. Uh, intellectual position and aesthetic and that is off-putting to a lot of people because he looks like a smug autistic prick and when i say autistic yeah. I who's wrong bad. about things who's wrong about things i can't be doing a bad job because i'm not paid to do this that's great the folder the folder it the party <laughs> did that it that, wasn't what like i don't know what you think uh, okay so like let's try and figure out what that could mean the party did that so is there like a party leadership that all got together and by the way no evidence for this again the current level of evidence that Vosh has cited is there were WhatsApp groups where people were mean and said some mean shit about the socialists. That's it. That's the level of evidence he's provided so far. But we've got the party, like the leadership, the officials. The Starmer, from day one of his leadership, has focused just on winning. And you know what? He did. He did all the... Uh, the best proof is that he fucking wrecked it. He destroyed the Tories. It went great. Yeah. So how can you say that the party did it when the party won... Nine months after he wrote, he did this video, based on the tactics it, it did in rooting out anti-Semitism, they don't care about winning. Yeah. They won. When they lanced off that tumor, when they lanced yeah. off that fucking yeah. boil. That, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, fucking Jerub. Yeah, is that fucking? Jerichemia. You see that fucking quote of uh, uh, Bronson? 
You know, fucking Bronson, da- uh, Britain's most dangerous prisoner. When he's phoning Tom Hardy, right, and he's Tom Hardy's like, "Oh, I'm going through a break off, a breakup, or whatever. What do I, what do I do to make myself feel better?" And Bronson's like, "Do you hear that, that story about the wee boy that got stuck in the drain pipe during the floods? <laughs> His leg got trapped, right, and the water rose and rose and rose. And they tried to get him out. They tried to get him out. And eventually, they couldn't. His leg was jammed, so the wee boy drowned. If I was the wee boy, I'd have said, "Cut it off." Cut my fucking leg off. Because sometimes we got to cut off a little bit of us so that we can keep on growing. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. We got, yeah, Labour Party. That's what Labour stuck. did, dude. Labour Party got stuck in a fucking pipe. <laughs> a flood water was coming in, dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes, but they had less votes than Tory reform. Yeah, but they didn't have less votes than. But again, a lot of Lib Dems. Actually, where's that fucking uh, cool ass graphic that I keep that I keep posting that everyone loves and thinks is really cool, and everyone thinks is as cool as me, who is also very cool. Where is it? Tactical votes <laughs> from Smugbug. Oh, great! I have to search for my own. I'm gonna play the video while I find this. Some people in the party, it was the, the apparatus of the party was, was committed enough to this plan of action that they succeeded. Biden is legit to the left of the Labour Party right now. Yes, significantly so, yes. Labour supports universal health care. Significantly so? No, they don't. You seriously believe... Oh, I'm glad that you were watching that because I, 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 I didn't and couldn't. He said, he said uh, Biden is significantly left to the Labour Party. To Keir Star Wars label party. All right. Significantly way, is, left. By the way, uh, Embo, um, uh, Embo, um, uh, uh, Embo. Um, what, uh, what I notice here, Embo. By the way, uh, Embo is I notice. Uh, w- uh, what do I notice? Uh, thir- uh, uh, thirty-six is a smaller number than thirty-seven. Get wrecked. Stay mad. Thirty-seven. Thirty-six. Uh, get wrecked. Get owned. Get wrecked and owned and wrecked and owned. Get owned. Because uh, the right wing don't know how to tactical vote. Lol. Keir Starmer supports universal health care. The British well, people are right. defense. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a straight. Pierre Starmer call. does support universal health care. He supports the NHS. Uh, unless Vosh is- doesn't know, unless Vosh doesn't know, the NHS is universal health care. Do you think he doesn't know that? I'm really disappointed that Poor Dog was joking because I need someone to scream at as an avatar of Vosh. Cheeto, it looks like you're going to be on the agenda pretty soon, buddy. Get ready, get your mic set up. <laughs> I might just have to, might just have to use you as a punching bag for a little bit. I love you. <laughs> no, don't hurt Cheeto. No, I love Cheeto. I would never hurt. Cheeto. of the NHS, but Keir Starmer is going to be just as willing to contribute to its um commodification and privatization as as it has been for the past like fifty years. He's no, he won't. Just as willing. His wife works for the NHS. He's literally already cut aside as much money as he could. Wes Streeting, the new healthcare secretary, or whatever the fucking position is called, has already started negotiating a wage rise for the junior doctors that have been on strike for fucking ages. Like, this is all... Indefensible. Indefensibly wrong. Indefensible. Thick as pig shit, you mean. Yeah. Thick as pig shit is the word you're th- 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 Thuck as Stupid. pig shit. Thuck as per shot. Stupid so, idiot. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You know? He's already set in motion plan. He's selling off his wife. He's selling off his wife. No. He's privatized his wife. No! Starla, stop! <laughs> preferential contracts. <laughs> Kia, my wife is a doctor, Starma. Hey, you know, his father was a toolmaker, didn't you hear? <laughs> like, Kier Starmer is not, it did not, like, sacrifice everything to oust a socialist and, 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 and throw things over to the Tories for like uh, this was nine months ago what did five he years and- this was nine months ago he throw things over to the Tories for like five years okay so Corbyn would not have won Corbyn could not win he had a bigger share but that share was not distributed in any meaningful way he got a shitload of popularity in the woke sectors and no one else in the country could fucking stand him which is a shame because that share is important but that's just not how voting works unfortunately it was a uh, they need the representation of the constituencies to make up the country you can't just go super deep it's a bad system i can't believe how much i've learned about the nhs's financialization and whatnot you guys would be surprised even but in all but but all in time i would bro you need to start typing and stop speech texting right now that's Saxon. Have you, have you fucking taken Saxon serious? 
I always take Saxon seriously. He's a, he's an intellectual titan. Power, and then like immediately perpetuate culture war talking points against trans people, only for him to go like, actually, yeah, you know, I'm actually pro. Like, the, 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 even Tories say that they're pro NHS at times. It's 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 not it's not the same. Braverman says she dreams of sending refugees to Rwanda. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember. Okay, you remember that? Are you going to comment on how that conflicts with your narrative? That was a uh, classic. Just from just from late August, Suela Braverman. Are you gonna, has said the government will do, gonna, quote, whatever it takes if its plans to send asylum seekers to Rwanda is, quote, kick, thwarted in Strasbourg okay. and I'll confirmed the government is considering fitting some migrants with electronic tags. That's cool. Swell government was forced to resign under Liz Truss for bracing, breaking the ministerial code and Rishi Sunak brought her back in, in his home uh, secretary anyway. Yeah. The right honorable, Swell Breverman, by the way, in case you were wondering, it's the right honorable. Labor urged to reject NHS privatization after West Streeting visit. Streeting has repeated. Same as the Tories, 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 same as the Tories! He killed the deal immediately! Chad. Day one, killed the deal. Day one, killed the deal. Day one! Same as the Tories, same as the Tories, right of the Tories, same as the Tories. He doesn't <gasps> make clear that if Labour wins the next UK general election, they would use private companies to tackle NHS waiting lists. Cool. In a press release published I hate Friday, Saxon because Labor Saxon has, is the quote, pseudonym of the master in season three of Doctor Who. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Bring down NHS waiting lists in the short term as part of its national mission to build an NHS fit for the future. That is, there when people need it by training. Okay, so now he's receiving counter arguments. Let's see how he handles this. Training the next generation of NHS staff and modernizing the health service. It comes after the UK government announced eight new private sector run diagnostic centers in the NHS of England, as well as relaxation of the rules governing the awarding of NHS contracts to private companies. So basically, the the. Okay, how is he going to completely lie about? I can, I can feel it cooking. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm so ready. So he's going to be like, oh yeah, and he's going to act like it was what he was saying the whole time. Yeah. The shadow health secretary for the Labour Party, after a bunch of privatization of the NHS, was like, yeah, we also have a plan. We'll also privatize more of the NHS. What? That's not what it says. <laughs> so that we can build a better NHS for the future. Yeah, dude, they're, it's they're literally just. Committed to using private sector capacity to bring down NHS waiting lists in the short term as part of its national mission to build an NHS for the future. Okay? Now, the reason this is the case, I'll give you a very simple example. Okay? All right? Let's say that I own a house. Okay? Now, if I sell that house, tomorrow I'm going to need somewhere to stay. Now, if you were to say, well, why don't you just use the house that you just sold? I would say, no, I can't do that. I'm going to have to go rent. Oh, so you're entering the private sector? So you're going to be privatizing your rent? You're going to go do that? You're going to go spend money every month instead of having the asset? Yes, motherfucker. I shouldn't have set sold the fucking asset. The conservative sold off all of the fucking assets. So if I need to be able to live somewhere tomorrow, I need to go to the private sector where those assets were sold off. Where those pieces are sitting there, b b being charged rent. In the long term, I can hopefully build up enough money to buy another house. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm stuck using the private sector because everything was sold off to the private sector. Why did the private sector want to buy it? So that they could rent it and make money off of it for 20 years. <sighs> Big L. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, I can do this. Uh... Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, L. Look, I made an L. Whoa. Ew. L. It's like a sideways L. L. Oh, yeah. Wait, can I do it the other one? No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, ah! My arm's stuck behind me. Ah! Wow! Oh, okay, I'm good. Sorry. Well, this is a real L. Twisted. Boop. Ah, my ah! one's behind the screen. Get, get wrecked, get cucked, get owned. Fuck you. Tories, dude. They're just, they're Tories. They're just more Tories. Oh it's my god. Use private sector more for NHS patients. Labor. Nice. How are the anti-trans vibes in the Labor Party? The Labor Party is anti-trans. Keir Starmer... The anti- Okay. The Labor Party is anti-trans. This is the claim. In a desperate bid to try to appeal to the center and to the right, uh, just, it, like, went on with multiple interviews with journalists and just, like, awkwardly was like, uh, yeah, I'm not transphobic, but, like, a man is a man and a woman is a woman and, and, and like, like, just, just sort of insincerely belted out, like, he wrote it on his hand beforehand. He's like, what, you know, what, what should I say? Just standard politician. He wrote it on his hand. What? So he scripted his answer to a political question in an interview? Uh, okay. Appeal to the right bullshit. Actual question, is there a normal UK party that, like, I don't know, supports trans existing? Yep, Oops. the Lib Dems.
The Lib Dems right now are the only major party, though significantly less major than the cons or labor, that have an official pro-trans position. Yeah. No, the Lib Dems are transphobic too. I'm That's pretty sure I saw that the official position of the Lib Dem party. They'll do anything for a vote. <laughs> Just like trans people. They would, they would throw trans people under the bus as quickly <laughs> as possible if it was politically convenient to them. Yep. Do not trust the Lib Dems. I have zero yep. trust for any fucking <laughs> Lib Dems. Yeah, but Davey is funny. He's a funny guy. He's quirky. If the Tories go like, hey, do you want to partner up? They'll be like, yes, God! Please, yes! <laughs> oh, thank God, yes, give us another chance. You get us to kill them? <laughs> give me the gun! Give me the gun! I'll do it! I'll do it! We can turn our campaign bosses into the bosses to round them up, okay? We can do that. Yeah. That's what the Lib Dems are like. Oh, fuck, yeah. As oh, soon as it's politically convenient, they will change all of their morals. If Davey stands up and is like, oh, I know how to push people out of a helicopter. I've done loads of practice <laughs> these last few weeks. <laughs> we'll tell them they can come bungee jumping with me, but we just won't give them the bungee. Yes, we'll snip the line. The Lib Dem party uh, on trans people is like liberal acceptance. Uh, and the SNP, yeah, but that's the Scottish, yeah. Yeah, the SNP. But we're still the in the, aren't exactly we're still in the election! <laughs> <laughs> Get like a winning bid in London or whatever. Lots of questions coming in on gender. Uh, you may or may not be uh, pleased to know, uh, Mr. Starmer. What is a woman? If you don't say she's an adult female, I shall not vote Labour. Okay, so I've seen this clip. Okay, I think it's. I think it's. I think this is actually quite descriptive of the turf island bullshit that Starmer has to deal with to get elected. Um, he has historically said lots of very positive things about trans people. Um, unfortunately, uh, more recently, he's had to couch his language in order to appeal to the JK Rowling crowd. And so he's constantly having to, like, kind of thread the needle in, in an attempt to not offend anyone. Unfortunately, attempting which to sucks, not offend... Which sucks, to be fair. Sucks, it does it suck. sucks. But this is unfortunately a problem of the electorate, not of Starmer. And... It genuinely, there is a significant chance that they would have done a lot worse on the election if they hadn't, like, bitten the bullet on some of the trans shit. Which sucks. Yeah. I know. It's awful. Unfortunately, our country is bad. It's going to take a while for us to reform yeah. fucking The, the public. problem with transphobia is it's the opinions of the public, you know? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Policy can change that, and it's... It would be good to have a party that was that had policy that was open to it, um, but even then, it's like that they have such a hard time in Westminster. For example, look at what happened with the SNP and devolved powers. It's the first time in twenty five years since devolved powers were given, the Tories finally overruled an SNP uh, devolved power decision by uh, the whole um, God. What was it? The the bill that was to do with changing your uh, your name on your death certificate and your oh yeah. Um, right. Uh, marriage certificate and to add old people and trans people as okay, separate uh, discrimination statistics and the whole reason they cited was it wasn't uh, compatible with current are we effing and jeffing was that oh, me or you dude i don't fucking know dude i can't tell was that was that a chat, chat f one's that in chat if it was me chat no two in chat if it was me chat it, we're good. Okay, well, I think we're good. I think it was you. Hard F. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's not good. Well, that's why we're not. That's not why. That's why we're not doing Twitch. Sorry, guys. That's why we're not doing Twitch. Tell them to refresh. We're back. We're back. We're, we're so back. back, dude. We're fresh. We're so fucking back. All right. As I have all my life. New house. New house. Sorry. New house. If that's from Merrill in Leicester, another one for Sakia. Has his party decided on the- Anyway, listen listen to the questions that are coming in on fucking mass to this random interview. Pleased to know. Uh, Mr. Starmer, what is a woman? If you don't say she's an adult female, I shall not vote Labour, as I have all my life. That's from Merrill Jesus. in Leicester, another one for Sakia. Has his party decided on the definition Whoa. of what a woman is? And has the Labour Party policy on single-sex spaces and trans rights change what is it and another one could you ask Sakir if uh, he ever yeah this is on state radio by the way this is where this is where britain is at right now the labor party the, the labor party like stabs it okay to be clear nikki campbell is not anti-trans he's just reading out questions that come it's radio show. yeah self in the leg to oust corbyn loses to the conservatives on purpose then Keir starmer comes up kid starver you know um and now he's oh a, now, now like an, a, a state radio kid host starver? is like um uh, well, it's, based it's on israel, what israel 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 israel, israel, israel. It, but the okay I, but labor's know, policy dude, on israel is two to solution and a ceasefire, a ceasefire that's the yeah, policy and a state state for palestine yep 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 but but whiz they did it too slow they waited for the icj they that's did it moral. they did it too slow they're not in power <laughs> <laughs> ah! They love the Jews too much. That's my problem with Labour. They love the Jews too much.
Kid Starver is about the two child oh. benefit cap. Oh, I thought it was about Gaza. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, do you know? Hey, do you know why the cap isn't being raised? Because there's no fucking money. It would actually cost <laughs> too much money. Sorry. Very bad. Very unfortunate. Clip it and ship it. But you know, it's weird that he's being called the Kid Starver when um, he's not increasing the child benefit cap, but they are introducing free breakfasts for all children. Right? Like Kid Starver. Also, Starver's considering but, he yeah. didn't introduce the cap. Yeah, exactly. The cap has been cemented by the fucking Tories, so like it's hard. It's gonna take a bit of time to g gather the funds to release the cap. The uncap. Can you explain to me your position on a uh, 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 what are, are what are women, adult human females? Also. Okay. Okay. So again, these are these are questions, not. How do you I... feel about thirteen fifty? You know. What is wrong? Thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. I. He is. He is. He is. He's dumb he's just he's just not very bright and i don't think i don't think he doesn't have the potential to be intelligent i think he's just atrophied it really does seem like he just hasn't had to engage his brain for so long that he's kind of stopped bothering in a lot of aspects like this is just this is just what happens when you spend too much of your time doing the same thing over and over without any kind of impetus for change or improvement he's just been the same for years there's a photo yeah. of Kia sitting in a room with Jimmy Savile that he apparently wants to raise from existence. Uh, I wonder why the most powerful and influential celebrity in all of Britain uh, spent time with lots of politicians. That's weird. That's weird. You know Thatcher was fucking Jimmy Savile's best bu buddy, right? They were genuinely close friends. You know that, right? Like, obviously, Jimmy Savile had a shitload of people in high Do you know there's, uh, there's actually a photo with Jimmy Savile and Oswald Mosley together? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think. I think. Yeah, true. I think Jimmy Savile actually abused Mosley when he was a kid. The the, the timeline that's crazy. Uh, syncs up. Syncs up. Yeah. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. It's real. It's real. It's real. He'd be stumped over the question, "What is a woman?" No, you all struggle with it. The, the penis question, don't you? Look, um, Does you always struggle with the penis question. The penis question. question. That's straight funny. Well, so Starmer put out a statement saying ninety nine point nine percent of women don't have a penis. Which is like roughly true. I mean, it's obviously it's a massive cop out answer, but he said such no, a insane it's so, statement. To it's me. so funny. It's genuinely hilarious. By the way, guys, really I've been it. thinking about it. Ninety percent of women don't have a penis. Yeah, that is such a lawyer answer. I kind of love him for it. Ninety nine point nine percent of women don't have a penis. That is kind of he's kind of he's kind of correct. He's kind of it's kind of true. He's not fully wrong. It's not a great statement, but it's not wrong. It's not objectively incorrect. This is, again, BBC Radio 5, questioning potential- Ooh, I just looked it up. Callers. Apparently, apparently, the Savile photo is fake. Wow! And it's a picture of uh, the, the original show Starmer with Britain's former Prime Minister Gordon Brown and other senior Labour figures watching the England-Senegal FIFA World Cup match. Wow! The photo was altered to replace Brown's link. head with Send Savile's. So it's Gordon Brown. Send me the link. Linky, linkers. Do you, wanna, linkers. do you want to see the photo or do you want to see the fact the, check? The, the, the both. Well, the fact check will contain the photo, probably. No, it doesn't. Oh, send me the fucking... Fact okay, check. I'm just going to look it up myself. Fact check. Jimmy Savile and Starmer. All caps. It only does voice. descriptions because it's trying to be politically neutral. Where's the, where's the image? Oh, they don't show the image. Okay, you're right. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Let me guess. Fact check is a Jewish-run organization that can't be trusted. That's my guess. Whoa. That's my guess. Next statement. Coming Future from Prime Minister. Man. The, you he all struggle with the penis question, people. don't you? This He's just a racist. This oh. is the state of Britain right now. This is why, like, I, I, I'm struggling to care. You, you know that support what? for trans people has dropped by, like, 20... Hey, you're struggling to care? Did you know that there are trans people in Britain that you should maybe care about? What do you mean mm. you're struggling to care about the politics of Britain? You struggle to care? Well, you should care more, surely. Right? What's that? What do you mean you're struggling to care about what happens here? It, are the are the trans people in Britain? He's just racist. He's just anti-British. And I know it's funny to be anti-British, but holy Whoa. shit, he's so anti-British. He's willing to just throw trans people under the bus. He doesn't give a shit. He's given up. He's like everyone on that island's fucked. It's doomed. It's over. If you're trans on there, you're just gonna die. It's done. You're done. I'm you know, throw it you. in the Discord. Throw in the Discord, please. Thank you. Key points over the past five years in Britain, like you, you dying empire vibes. You have nothing. Your economy is dead. Your culture is dead. Your latest seasons of Doctor Who is f dead. You do nothing. You contribute nothing. Oh, America. What? Oh, what? Whoa! 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 Whoa!
next there are latest t- seasons of Doctor Who is dead where's nine months excuse nine months me fucking posh I'm about ago. to fucking bury where's, this man where's nine months this ago? man's about to be fucking ripped to bits ago? by my bare where's, hands where's I'm about to fucking devour a vosh I'm about to eat him I'm gonna eat him alive shh shh it's okay shh it's okay it's okay it's okay come here what is dead about it? Have you it's seen right, the episodes of right. The very politically progressive. It's alright, it's alright. Shh. It's okay. I'm just gonna give you a little back massage. I'm gonna give you a little back massage. I'm gonna give you a little back massage, okay? Does that feel better? Does that feel better? Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna give you a little back massage. I'm gonna bend you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna give you karate chops. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want karate chops? Do you want karate chops? You want little karate chops? Tap 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 tap. Karate chops. Just need a little drink here. Just need a little drink. I'm giving you karate chops. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Giving you, giving you karate chops. It's okay. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, I'm just having a little drink here. Give that little stress out. Oh, get that little stress out. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. God, I. I must right. have misheard him. I think I misheard him there. Uh, you definitely misheard him. I missed him. But this was, him. by the way, this was nine months ago. So this was before the later season of uh, Doctor Who had come out. It's the no, because it would have been post uh, David Tennant coming back. It would uh, have been probably, post the yeah. 60th anniversary. That's probably true. He, but again, he's probably misinformed. In Which all three did. episodes were fucking great, by the way. Well, I haven't seen them, so I can't <laughs> confirm or deny. Your shitty f***ing accents. Escape the island. Go out, okay? <gasps> France is a real country. It sucks, but it's a real country. All right. Uh, in Spain, real country. Germany, real country. They suck in their own ways, but they're real countries. The UK is not a real country. Firstly, a woman is an adult female, so let's clear that one up. Firstly, a woman is an adult female. Remember, Joe Biden's answer to this question, what, to how many genders are there, was at least three. That is how big... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he was having a fucking stroke. <laughs> he was in the middle of his brain burning and fizzling out. <laughs> At how many three, ganders about at least, at least, at least <laughs> three, Jack. How many, how at least many? three, Jack. No, uh, I got it. Uh, how, 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 <laughs> how many, how many, how, how many, ga- how many ganders <laughs> we did I have walking yeah. up to the, how, how many under yeah. the stage? I had at least three, at least three. <laughs> wait, 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 that's good, that's good. Do you want to see my uh, Joe Biden impression? Here you go. You just going to fall over dead? How many? How many? Did I ask Joe Biden about fucking Doctor Who, Vosh, idiot? Uh, chat liked it. I got chat. There we go. That's all I. I that's all the approval I need. I'm a streamer. <laughs> Thank you, Bonk. <laughs> the difference is. So let's clear that one up. So, so we um, we set out that we want to modernise the process, get rid of some of the indignities um, in the. By the way, adult female is actually also, I would say, a cop out answer. Like, obviously, it signals to the right, but it doesn't actually mean anything if you think about it. Like, what does that mean? It, it's 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 told logical. It, it's told logical, right? It's literally just like, what is a woman? Uh, an adult woman. Like the way that people use these words interchangeably, I know that it's appealing to the right in that they think female means something different, and they try to make female mean biological. But even by using the phrase female. They are indi- they are implying that there is something separate to the biological female, which is the gender, yep. which is woman. Like that, literally. The, when they say adult female, if you were a turf, you just say chromosomes. Yes, they would. They're, they're better verse. They're, they would be like woman without a womb on a Sunday when the moon isn't causing their period, <coughs> but they have cramps. Some of it isn't affected by the solar yeah. cycles of the moon. Every yeah, exactly. Byzantium empire's yes. fall. Yeah, someone who's in a bad mood when Mercury is in retrograde. That's what a woman is. <laughs> What is a woman? Uh, Pisces! <laughs> what is a woman? It's so yeah. sand between your toes. It is <laughs> the wind upon your cheek. It is your hair dangling in a curl. Yeah. What, is, what, is a, what is a woman? It's someone who can psychically commune with Mother Gaia. <laughs> but no one else. It's trans women. Tragically, trans women have not yet reached the level of uh, gender aff- uh, affirmation where they can hear the voice of Mother Gaia soothing them on the wind. <laughs> It's it's a terrible terrible loss for them. Unfortunately, until they get there, they will never be accepted. What are your zodiacs, guys? I uh, guess aren't you? An I'm not the zodiac name? killer. I didn't do it. Are you are oh. you an astro- uh, Are you an astrology girly? What's what you, you the, the the whole point is you're meant to guess. You're meant to go. Oh my god, you're totally an X. You have to guess. My cool star is smug. Keep it a metal m- m- Keep it a metal ah! um, process. Smug gives us airy vibes. Try again. And we've always said, um, and continue to say, and Sunday when we... Hate it when the druid class is gender-restricted. 
Aries, <laughs> wrong again. <laughs> Taurus, wrong. Wow, it's almost like astrology doesn't work. I love astrology. Wow. Uh, actually, when was your little avatar created? Because that's your real star sign. Uh oh shit. Smug bug might have a different. That's look. something I I I actually find quite interesting about Shitty Cat was the doctor because he's super into astrology. Oh. So he's like got like astrology reads for like the show and the monsters in the show and stuff like that, depending on like the dates they were created. It's so strange, but it's very cool. Weird. Who's getting fucking whipped in the background? Sorry, I so I got this new desk, this cool gamer desk that's like a standing desk. <gasps> I should stand up. I'm gonna stand up. Excuse me one second. Wait, let me just, let me just, I'm gonna, I need to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust, I'm gonna adjust my desk, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click the button that makes it go up to the height. Here we go. Push the button and let me know it gotta, da, 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 oh shit, da, oh no. Oh, this is worked. I immediately regret this, You've gone through the bugs, leave them alone, oh, dude. Ah, okay, hold on, let me stand up. Ah. Alright, there we go. I wonder if this is gonna work. Oh, you know what? No, uh, I, I fucking brutalized my legs at the gym, I can't, I can't stand right now. I forgot. That makes no sense. Wow. Yeah. Which part of this seems physically coherent, Bambino? What did you think? Yeah. What am I? What am I? Where am I from? Mother Gaia. True. Which planet am I from? Our policy forum allowed us to um, be clear that there should be safe places, safe spaces for women, particularly um, in relation to violence against women and girls. And I, when I was director of public prosecution, spent a lot of time dealing with cases of violence. Against Genuinely, like, I do not have hope for the future of the UK. I'm not, this isn't sarcasm. Maybe Scotland. Scotland has, like, enough of an independent will and enough of a national oh, identity look, uh, that they might be able to pull something together. But legitimately, at the very least for, like, Wales and England, I do not have hope for the future of that country i i don't um i wonder i wonder Bro, what, what is this wait, why wait, is he writing off a country Wiz, yeah i was gonna say like what, what what do you think his opinion of uganda is is that is this the kind of shit he says about, yeah like, <laughs> development? like what you're like hey what do you think about uganda you know there's a very small minority there who are still doing female genital mutilation yeah just write off the whole country it's fucked they're not even a real country go to spain go to france go to italy well not italy go to <laughs> italy probably has more <laughs> <laughs> FGM yeah. than in Africa at this point with the fucking Moronis. <laughs> oh god. We're so far anti Welsh nationalism, that's it. I'm on something from Welsh. Thank you, finally. There is a Welsh independence movement, it is true. Yeah, it's just not very good. I'd love to see an independent Wales. I couldn't care less. Maybe Northern I don't know, I don't know. I, d I don't. Everything well, that I see issue, just looks dude. like dying. Dead. Uh, dead. Dying. Dead. Nothing. Nothing. Empty. Do you see how his br he's just he's just Yap. He's just yap. He is nothing but that. Does he know how like, how small Scotland is? Do you think he would still say that oh if he's, he knew we were only like 8 million new. people? He doesn't know anything. Or 5 million people even? Vosh just doesn't care about politics anymore. Yes, thank you. He's just become, he, at least at least when we're, uh, we're entertainers and we admit it, okay? But he's not, he's just, he's got no politics left in him. He may as well just become a fucking react streamer. He should just watch the same fucking dating content that we do, okay? That's my, that's he my. Technically that's my. Is, he is react. Yeah, this is all react. Did you know he's that that fucking Doctor Who so I can yeah, fucking kill him? He doesn't even react to anything. He's just reacting to his chat. It's a self-sustaining cycle. God. He just reacts to his fucking God. chat. He's got the fucking... The, the, US, the US should... The get US her in the censor. Get her in the censor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quality in get her in the censor. is actually greater on a regional basis than it is in the United States. Like, outside of, of London, which is where, like, 99.9% .9 of British wealth is concentrated. Sorry, th this is this is an incoherent argument. Are, are we going to compare San Francisco to fucking rural Alabama next? What what the fuck are you doing? Concentrated outside you of that, it's, it's like it's all like an Appalachia out there. Seriously, no, like like borderline, like in, in it. Uh, yeah, let's just ignore like Manchester. <laughs> just just for, to be fair, everyone else does. <laughs> to be fair, everyone else does. No. Yeah, there's just there's just London, nothing else. In America, true. yeah, a lot of our wealth is concentrated in our cities, sure, but it's not like as anywhere near as bad as it is in England. It's like you 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 go past the city and it's just destitute out there. Women and girls. Wow, Bro, that's not true. That that's all the rich people are living all. in fucking. Oh my god, dude. Ah! All, also, like, choose anywhere in America. There's no homeless camps like that in the UK. Yeah, fucking hell. That's not yeah. a phenomenon that exists here. Sure, we have homelessness, but it's nothing like homelessness in America. Has Vosh ever been to Britain? Vosh has never left his fucking room, dude. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Like, Vosh, Vosh green screens himself into, into progressive victory. Where uh, do you think he's talking about that that is the case? 
He doesn't, but he's just made up a version of the UK in his head based on. It's just like, is he talking about like council areas? No, he's just. Because those are social programs that don't exist in America. That's true. Yeah, at least the poor. Yeah, inequality is that high. The poor can afford healthcare in this country. The waiting lists are a bit long. It's a little bit cooked, but it is there. If you get cancer in the UK, you still don't go bankrupt. That's 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 unique. And to you the turn US. down Wiz's volume. Shut up, idiot. That's a good idea, actually. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. He's a bit. Don't loud, you dare. Don't, don't you fucking don't dare. Don't you fucking oh, you can dare. See me. Oh, I can you see. Little, little that's enough. Tickle. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. I control the dial. Down you go. Good night. Yeah, like good night. Oh. Uppity. No, I don't like. It. I don't like it when when the Scot comes out. I have to I have to turn him down a little bit. Okay, it's an English English tradition. That's probably a bit too well, low. There you go. Okay. Well, right. you guys, right. this is good for you guys. Shut the fuck good up. For you. And therefore, feel very strongly about these safe spaces for women. And why are why are trans women? Are you saying <clears throat> disproportionately likely to be? violent in these situations i don't understand what are you saying no i, I think that it's more that um women who've been biological women has been subject to violence uh, against women and girls um want a safe space where they can notice how he just said there's no evidence that trans women are more likely to commit violence in uh women's spaces than cis women are he just said essentially you know oh actually wait no. hold on um no there's no evidence of potential harm however like due to the feelings of of, of trans folks yes! we have to do legal discrimination well okay Yes, basically. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, actually. <laughs> unfortunately, yes. Yeah, like that that is that is the bullet he's biting. He's saying Yes. Yes, there's no there's no evidence, but YouTube chat hates you. Yeah, it does it does just kind it's of block. Thing. It does just block thing. messages sometimes. Uh top chat. Chat. Let's, let's go back place. to live chat. Okay, let's try that. Um we'll give that a try. Yeah, maybe yeah it, it is very unreliable. Can see all the most frequent messages. Fuck off you guys don't get out that much. Excuse me, I'm touching grass every day. I went and voted the other day. What have you fucking done? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I voted, voted too. I voted green, and then I smoked some green, touching grass. Yeah. Feel, um, safe from what? Yeah, sorry. I don't know why. I don't know why Top Chat was on. It does that sometimes. Mm. Just switches well, back. Well, a safe space where they can feel that they are, um, you know, properly supported and protected. See, look, he can't even. He can't even say like safe. Yeah, but like, okay, so if he was complying with your suggestion that he was a transphobe and anti-trans. That would be one thing, but he's clearly, he, this man has a gun pointed to his head called the British electorate's transphobia. He is clearly desperately trying to hit the maximum amount of pro-trans legislation he can manage without getting unelected and letting the Tories just have total control over the trans agenda for the next five years. Why isn't, uh, why isn't it a topic on the same level in the US? Why is it not the same core political discussion out there? Uh... Oh, it's because oh, I is know. Is it why. like a tacit rule uh, of like no, no, no? Don't I mention exactly racism. Why. Don't no, mention. No, no, no. I, I know exactly why I can tell you. It's because feminism was born in the UK, the suffragette movement, and then the second wave of feminism was basically like the biggest pro-woman movement, and all of it was sourced in UK writers and UK feminists. And unfortunately, yeah. many of those UK writers and UK feminists were very prominent. They had loads of legitimacy, and they had a lot of sway in the left. And then they started adopting crazier positions positions like political lesbianism uh, the suffragettes started moving to the right and ended up becoming fucking fascists they started they started hanging out with the likes of oswald Mo mosley um uh, because at the end of the day they were just pro-woman which is very hard to distinguish from pro-equality when women have no rights so all of these feminist writers yeah. were essentially oppositional and then pro-woman ends up becoming anti-woman when the women are seen as not real women that's that's the issue. That's why that's yes. This is why feminism is bad. This is why what you should really do is uh, intersectional feminism, third wave. All right, the uh, the Crenshaw, the good shit. All right, the intersectionality, the base stuff, the feminazis. Yep, feminazis. Uh, yeah, like how Stardust courts far rightoids. What does that mean? Base. Why is that does any link? Let's go. Not not intersectional, multi-dimensional. If yeah, exactly, I'm gay. I'm gay in four hundred alternate uh, uh, alternate universes. Okay, all right. Alternate? No. We need a we need a we need a reset back to universe uh, G. Okay, I need to go back. Does yeah. Stardust do anything? Stardust is my favorite streamer. Back off, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Safe from being by trans women, or safe from being assaulted by trans women, because he's just acknowledged there's no actual evidentiary basis for these policies. He's okay, literally cool. just saying, because people are bigoted against trans people, yes! we need to be bigoted against trans people. Kind of, yeah. 
Do you want to get? Do you want a? Le well, this is the problem. He's basically taken the assumption that Keir Starmer is more right wing than a Tory, and so now he's he's saying that there's no value to him being elected, and so there's no cost benefit. Just wait until he sees what the Tories say about trans people. Oh my that god! That is actually the argument that the Labour Party potential prime minister is making right here. That is the actual statement that he is making. What? What has the would actual love, prime minister love... said, Keir? Or, the dude, Vosh, Vosh, Vosh. What oh, yeah. has the actual prime minister said about trans people? Because. Yeah. Really, it's not good. I, yeah, hold on. Let's uh, let's get the let's get the let's get the meme. Junak, after he appeared to make a trans joke in the Commons, while the a difference difference between the new prime minister and the last prime minister. Last prime minister, uh, 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 uh women are scared. Uh, so we should probably this just prime try minister, and help this, them. This help minister. them. Yeah, this prime minister, that's what I said. Yeah, this prime minister. Uh, said last, we, we, said shut the fuck up! Minister. Women are scared. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best to make them feel like they shouldn't be scared. Uh, last prime minister. Repeatedly to apologise for Mr Sunak's language, saying... ...to the exchange. But it's a bit rich, Mr Speaker, to hear about promises from someone who's broken every single promise he was elected on. I mean, I think I counted almost 30 in the last year. Pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. The, the list goes on, but the theme is the same, Mr Speaker. It's empty words, broken promises, and absolutely no plan. Look at this mother- look at- look at Keir Starmer. I want you to look at something. Look at his hand right now. He's fucking furious. <laughs> of all- of all the work- of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. So to be clear, the mother of a murdered trans woman was in the chamber when Rishi Sunak made that comment. He was taking jabs at how a woman can be defined with the mother, the grieving mother of a dead trans woman who had just been fucking lynched. Was in the chamber. Yep. This is the difference between the prime ministers. This guy fucking cares. This guy's upset. This guy's pro-trans to the maximum extent he can get away with in a country that is admittedly, unfortunately, turfy as fuck. Fucking yep. moron. Fuck this guy. No evidentiary so basis. At least American Republicans pretend trans women have actually done something to earn the discrimination. They're wrong, but like, at least the presumption from American Republicans is trans women should be kept from these spaces because they're dangerous. Whereas he's just flatly stating they should be kept from these spaces. Do you want him to- this- oh my god, do you want him to lie? Do you want him to make up fake evidence? Or is it actually better that he's saying that there's no evidence and that it's just a feelings-based thing? Because people are bigoted towards them. Insane! If the mist comes from the tales of survivors. They, why wouldn't they be properly unsupported and protected? What Starmer, the point that Starmer's basically making is that victims of, and this was, uh, there was a good ContraPoints video on this during the JK Rowling uh, debacle. Um, victims of abuse, uh, uh, women survivors of like, sexual rational. assault, are, yeah, they're irrational. Yeah, and they and they get scared because they, they, they're fucking traumatized. And unfortunately that fear has been co-opted very heavily by TERFs and weaponized. Um, into, uh, unfortunately, into transphobia. So, like, yeah. But that's what Star was saying. Star was saying he's being as polite as he can about the fact that these people are doing something wrong, but he's basically appealing to their trauma. I should have listened more carefully to this interview, to be fair. It's hard to listen closely to these interviews when someone is yapping a massive fucking uh, uh, counter-narrative against it with no evidence. By the time you're 18 minutes into this video, you've already accepted that Keir Starmer is a piece of shit who is as right, if not more right, than the Tories. And so by this point, yeah. you're going to assume that he's doing this because he wants to... This is the issue. The problem is that he Keir Starmer... Bounce off the, the, yeah. the, well, he doesn't bounce off the, the political situation 
revolution in the UK. He only attacks the Labour Party without the context of yeah. what they're trying to win against, which is a lot of Labour's positioning and how they've operated over the past couple of years has been a direct response to how the Tories behave and perform and how they've like sort of conditioned the public to vote for them. Yeah. To criticise them in a vacuum is bizarre. It doesn't really make any sense. It's like... Uh, I don't know, it's like it's treating it like it's a unique political identity or entity even when it is just a product of the environment or in the political landscape that it exists within. And to ignore that context and paint the parties the same without looking at any of the other parties is just bizarre. It's so yeah. weird. It's like, such a weird way to try to critique at Labour. Try, try to follow Vosch's logic here, right? Like he's saying that the primary, uh, 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 the, the fundamental, the number one priority is to be anti-socialist. What about this interview felt anti-socialist? It was him trying to fucking thread the needle in a fucked up populace to try and get elected. It, he's trying to win so that he can enact change and improve upon the Tories' conditions. Oh, man. I'm not defending this generality. Yeah, I, I, Mel, I don't think you're a Vosh defender. I think you've got your own bad takes uh, without defending yeah. his. And to be <laughs> fair, neither me nor Smug voted for Labour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Again, is another I, important thing to now, discuss. To be, to be Neither clear, of us are Labour voters. I now, I now wish I did. The reason I didn't vote for Labour is because I wanted oh, to so you know, pr pressure them towards the left. But honestly, at this point, I, I, I would have been proud to vote Labour. I was conflicted. Green okay. vote's still better, dude. Uh, maybe, yeah. The guy, the guy, the guy I voted for was a rare example of a decent green candidate. Is the reason that I felt better about it. Smug L. Um, well, the Scottish well, Greens are sound as hell. I, I went on, I went on the tactical voting stuff, and it said you could vote with your heart. So I went with Green. Otherwise, I definitely would have voted Labour if it was a contested seat, but it wasn't. Not even close. Oscar understand. voted Malay. Why wouldn't that Let be, it be known? Based the case. Well, I think the Scottish prisoner case probably answers that question in terms of there are a lot. Wasn't the Scottish prisoner now? Oh, in her case, like. One trans woman was seen like showering naked in the public showers that all prisoners no. use, and there were people who were no. saying, "I feel so threatened Incorrect. because I saw." Okay, w uh, Incorrect. She uh, wasn't even housed in wait, the wait, same wait, building. Stop. stop! 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 Okay, hold on one oh, second. Oh, we now move. Oh. We now move. We now move to our Scottish correspondent. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, he's killing me. No, no, I'm, 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 hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm doing the, I'm doing the thing. Bill Padil, Bill Padil, Bill Padil. Okay, our Scottish Ooh. correspondent riding on the Chacky Pillar. Uh, well, what's going on in Scotland? It looks very London-y. What's, uh, uh... The case which I assume Vosh is referring to is about a, a trans prisoner that, uh, uh, claimed they were trans after being sentenced, um, with, a lot of people speculated that their motives was to, uh, be moved to a woman's prison because it would be an easier sentence for them. However, um, they weren't, they were moved to the campus of a women's prison, but they were, like, prisoned in isolation. They weren't, pr like, put anywhere alongside other female prisoners in this prison. And then even after that, it was, they were, like, moved back to, like, a, a seclusion in a men's prison. But the way it's decided in Scotland when it comes to the prison system is a case-by-case -case, uh, basis. There's no hard line or hard rule as to where any one trans prisoner goes. It is... Uh, decided by like a like a, a board where they go like they'll they'll review the individual case and off the back of that impr uh, imprison them accordingly um but it was a big fear-mongering tactic because they were like this person is literally in a woman's prison they're in gen pop with women they were never in gen pop they were in their own subsection or within a woman's prison campus that's great thank you and we'll be moving back to the main coverage thing So Vosh just made that up. That's fully made up from Vosh. I said we're moving back to the main. Thank you. You gotta move back to do that. No, we do. I'm doing that thing where they where they leave it. That I'm doing that thing where they leave it too long, and it's like you just have to like awkwardly stare at the camera for like eight seconds <laughs> before it switches. <laughs> there we go. Hey, you're back. All right. <laughs> wow, you got here fast. Thank you to our Scottish yeah, correspondents. Dude, no Twitch. I'm very sorry. My internet bad. I move house. It's bad. It's not good. It's very bad. It's very not good. Very bad. Sorry. 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 But Twitch chat is still available. So if you prefer Twitch chat, you can still <laughs> hang out in Twitch chat and you will still be able to post in Twitch chat. It's right here. Oh. Here I go. Wow. I just posted the link to Twitch chat in Twitch chat. And I posted the stream nice. manager chat. Leave it. I got it all wrong. Leave it. <laughs> Perfect the way it is. Leave it. <laughs> All right, whatever. Fuck it. Good, like, enjoy the access, guys. Saw her penis, and she didn't do anything. Am I thinking oh of a different God. case, or am I remembering the case where nothing happened oh, and no. there was a former prisoner who was just like, 
yeah, she took a shower and her dick was out and like, yeah, I don't know. No, it is that one. Different case. Is it the oh same or a different case? Because there's been a lot of these nothing cases. I remember that the case Scottish exist, prisoner case. Oh, oh my god, you know what would be great? You know what would be so cool? There's so, one when, Scottish when I, prisoner when case. I encounter, when I encounter something I don't know, I'll Google it. Um, <laughs> instead, Vosh just like goes, gets conflicting info from chat, and then we'll just go with whatever. He just the makes it up and narrative. hopes he gets corrupted. Yeah. I remember being a big bucket of nothing at the time. I don't remember if that's the specific kind of nothing. Which, by the way, the reason that Keir Starmer is invoking this case is as much because it was a big bucket of nothing that literally destroyed an entire political party as the fact that it was a a, a real issue. It wasn't. He said, he's appealing to the fact that it was electorally destructive. In in people in, that, in the Isla Bryson was the name. Yeah, of the yeah. You think there are a lot of situations? There are a lot I'm of not examples. There's a that. lot of examples of that. See, but nothing. He doesn't believe in anything. Keir Starmer doesn't believe in anything, and he, in, oh, okay. for that reason, he might be more dangerous than the Tories. I mean that. Genuinely, what? I mean that. This is this is the point. Like trustworthiness is huge in politics. Okay, it's very very. And he's more trust. He's less trustworthy than the Tories. Very important. Just, we trust Republicans to lie to be fascists when they actually take Completely office to do what they can to destabilize a democracy huge, no matter what they say. We trust huge, Democrats to overstate the progressive tendencies and actually take. operate as neoliberals yeah. when they enter power. In his case, like Vosh, his shift God, from yeah, Jesus I'm going to be the next hero. Hello, Vosh. How's it going? You're a fucking embarrassment to politics. You should stay the fuck out of UK politics. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Again, Everything that you said is wrong. I can see why Loaderbox has been tactically avoiding Vosh's yeah, takes on this. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Your allies are embarrassed to look at you. Your allies are embarrassed to look at you because you're so humiliating to watch that they can't be associated with you, but they still want to maintain connections with you because you are somewhat useful. Do some research or shut the fuck up. There's no in-between. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, and if you if you want to come debate us, anytime, motherfucker. Anytime. Okay, uh, we'll cook you. He is we doing will put research, you in the frying dude. Pan. His chat sends it to him. Yeah, we will put you in the fucking frying from pan. little messages. Come, hey, hey, Vosh, if you want to debate us, tell you what, here's my deal, okay? We'll make you a cute little bug, okay? And you can be the bug, and you can argue with us as a little bug. Look at all these cute little bugs. Don't you want to be a little bug? You're yeah, fucking... if you pay us 45 quid, Vosh, we'll <laughs> yeah. you. stop asking. Yeah. Uh, but debating him is worth 45 quid. Consulting <laughs> fees. World of socialism in the UK, leading the Labour Party. <laughs> start, start, Oscar, start drawing a horse. <laughs> to whatever the f this is, there's no reason to believe him on anything, you know? Please extrapolate on anything he says, specifically Israel v. Palestine. Don't worry, we will go into He's that. He's in very, very dangerous. Oh, and by the way, the turf narrative is bullshit. The people who overwhelmingly hate trans people in the UK, it's men. Women are still majority positive on trans rights and trans acceptance. It's men. So that is true. Well, but okay, the okay, majority, but in terms of vocal speakers on the exactly, issue. Exactly. Media, intellectuals, the figureheads. Movements. Yes. The reason, Rah, that the, the reason that the men get so much better co get much better cover in the UK is because they have a million women to hide behind. People like J.K. Rowling, people like Jermaine Greer, people like fucking... I can't think of any other feminists that are stupid, but there's a lot of them. Oh, uh, with the people that Country Points talks about. There's a million fucking turfs that they can hide behind and get, get uh, like, coverage. Cover. It he doesn't do debates anymore? How are we still on this? Yeah, because he doesn't know fucking anything. Is men, it's the British media who have colluded also, with each other to present a... Yes, this is what you. dying empires do. The UK, as everyone knows... Plus now we can walk around saying that Vosh has been avoiding debating us, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do the, the old cosmic fox. Why is Vosh <laughs> running from us, dude? Yeah, why is Vosh running? Thing, ...contributes nothing, is culturally dead, is economically dead, and has been for a long time. So what do you do to rile people up, to rile interest up, to present the interests of the moneyed class? Well, you have to go after a minority group, obviously. We've been doing that pattern for literal f***ing millennia, you know? So why not trans people? So the British media colluded, private and public elements, because the BBC is 100% in on this shit, and they have- Oh my god, he has no- he's just making shit up. This is nothing- no. This is not- there is a long tradition of feminism being subverted into right-wing aims. It was nothing to do with the media. It's actually an intellectual and academic movement. Unfortunately, it is very much an ideological um, hiccup, a, a, a consequence of the fact that feminism started here, but didn't end up, well, it kind of formed here in a way that was ended up being counterproductive in a lot of senses. Done exactly what- Third wave feminism happened more, um, um, conc uh, well, what's the word? Um, well, third wave uh, feminism mostly came from America, because I think they learned from the lessons, the, including the negative lessons of British feminism, and they concocted Judith Butler, Crenshaw, like the, those academics were the ones that kind of pioneered intersectional feminism, in part because um, America has a much more difficult um, 
relation with race than Britain does, and so I think that helped in some cases for them to understand the intersectional aspects, which is a lot wider reaching, a lot more inclusive, and so is therefore ideologically much more compatible with uh, being trans. The right in America has tried to do, but more successfully. The right has won in the UK. In America, the majority of young people and of people broadly... The right has won in the UK. I guess that's why um, he claimed that the right won <laughs> in, in the other video. Because he doesn't want to walk back What the position. fuck does he think's happened in America then? I don't know, The has won here. Yeah, it's... Still lean towards progressive dude, issues, like progressive answers on trans people. Yeah. Here in America, the whole right-wing culture war against trans people has led to maybe a three or four point shift downwards in support for our issues when it comes to trans people, but we still have a majority. Over in the UK, it was like a 25 point shift with men. I think like a 20 point shift. Weird that you're using the total demographic, including women in America, and the men male demographic in the UK. I'm pretty sure that if you look at both of them together, you'll probably find that men shifted similarly in America. With everyone. It's insane. But he's not worth doing the fact check. Pain. The right-wing nope. media won over there. Disgusting fucking country. The British media is incredibly influential in the electorate. Yeah, he's that's because racist. the average British person is... is Disgusting is, uh, country. Uh, Where do you live, Vosh? By what country they, are you your from? Your prim, posh, keep-it-all-to-yourself bullshit cultural narrative leads to all of you being naturally submissive when it comes to the words and messages and narratives given to you by people in power. You guys, unironically had a king's coronation ceremony recently. What is wrong with you? The queen died and you didn't trash it then? You actually went ahead with the king thing? Unbelievable. So yes, the average Brit, you know, they they, they do whatever stupid wagey cagey bullshit they need to do to- I, I would like to push back against this, weird. but the- Well, so the, cl well the class dynamic stuff, he's, 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 he's being, uh, uh, I mean, it's not completely wrong. It, we are, I mean, you know, classism is a bit stronger here. Social mobility is a is a lie in America, but at least it's 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 a lie. We don't even have the lie of social mobility in the UK. This is the only thing he's got right. Vosh speaking. I was, it's so funny. The entire time he was speaking, uh, my brain was just going Japan, 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 Japan. <laughs> You're so right, Halubu. You're so right, dude. You got me. You fucking got me. That's so funny. We get through the day. Their economy is a lot worse than ours, too, so presumably, you know, the- the-, the You have 300 million people, you fucking idiot. 400 million, <laughs> Jesus Christ. British experience, okay? The British experience says, you have a medical problem and you've been in a waiting list for six years for it because they privatized the NHS. You go out there and work your job with- That's- or you get paid marginally more on so average than the average American, but then you go home and spend six hundred dollars on the electricity bill for the evening, and then you turn on the television, and all of the wealthiest people in England, who unironically get referred to as the right honourable, then explain to you through a microphone or through their subsidiaries how everything that's wrong in your life is a product of the people not listening to the nuanced grievances that cisgender women have about transgender women, and this actually worked. This actually worked, and these degenerate loser subhuman wasted empire people. If anyone, if you're, if you are oh in God. the UK and you are a human being, if blood still courses through your body, get the fuck out. If you, uh, yeah, you know what, Vosh, I'll take your advice. I'm fucking coming, mate. Let's go, Wiz. Let's fucking roll. <laughs> let's roll out. I'm getting a flight. Okay, straight to fucking California, where this liberal cuck asshole so with a lead lives. So what a weird read. Oh God, man, I fucking this. He's such a he's what such a, a fucking because oh. you don't like the the. The party that's more progressive than your progressive party. It's because it's because it's the it's. it's he doesn't. Well, he doesn't like. He doesn't like like poor people are stuck in I cycles. Is that his? Is do they just why do then? poor yeah, just... people vote Tory? Like, oh. does he? <sighs> I know, I know. Dude. <laughs> and they didn't even this time. They didn't even vote Tory this time. They voted for Labour, but in his eyes, it's the same thing. So, oh yeah, wait, wait. But even Trump, if that wait, is Oscar, the case, wait, wait, Oscar's right. Sorry, sorry, Oscar's right. Trump literally just got the Supreme Court to say the president is a king. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you're the you're the cunt to monarchists now, motherfucker. Your president's a king. He's got immunity. You idiot. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, get ready for dear. Trump's. Get ready for Trump's uh, coronation. I mean inauguration. <laughs> Good luck. We don't have a fucking inauguration ceremony. Do you know how our political? Hey, hey, hey! Fucking idiot. Do you know how our political system works? 
We, uh, some random motherfucker says election's gonna be in four weeks, and then the election happens in four weeks, and then the guy t finds out that he's not gonna be prime minister anymore, and we evict him the same day. We kick him out, yeah. and we bring the new Get guy in. Get your fucking house, dude. Get your shit yeah. out of our place. Yeah, I'm sorry. Even, even if they're you gonna win or months. lose, right, they still have to have their house fucking packed up, ready, just in case they lose. Yeah, literally. Wait, what do you mean? You are cucked as fuck. Oh, we're gonna do the inauguration ceremony, and there's gonna be a big parade, and our president has total immunity now. Like, fuck you. Fucking idiot. We count the attendance and, com and use that as a metric to compare the popularity of presidents. Yeah. Avosh is bitter that leftists are winning everywhere but the US. Yeah! He's gonna be- he's just- he's just salty, dude. True. Can, okay? True. I, 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 I- there is no he hope for your blighted lamps. It's over. It's over. It's just over. The UK media is infested with TERFs, despite the fact that women are significantly more pro-trans than men in the UK. The only reason it's infested with TERFs oh. is because largely male, largely wealthy no. individuals are, no. are, are, are elevating a small number of voices. It I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised that Vosh knows literally nothing Bruh. about the history of feminism. He, doesn't, he just doesn't know. He doesn't know anything about feminism, but he never has. Like, he's never been a feminist. He, is, he just doesn't know any feminist theory at all. In order to like disseminate their hatred through the thin veneer of like progressive pseudo feminists. What big male like, turfs are there other than the fucking IT crowd guy? Yeah, well, that's it, right? Like, uh, uh, and, and that uh, guy all the other ones like are oh, just you know right wing so for other reasons and just also yeah. follow that Venn diagram. Yeah, but the only ones that are like specifically like, turfs. Like you know what's really funny? Guy. The one, the one male guy who is a turf. Graham uh, yeah, Gra Graham Linham. Do you know he spends all of his fucking time on Mum's Net? That's how female coded being turf is. The only website they hang out on is called Mumsnet. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, the right wing had an entire fleet. Mumsnet of has a very and famous history with Doctor Who, by the way. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Do, I, do you know that's oh. where? It, do, unironically, that's where like uh, age restrictions for televisions came from in the UK. What, it was a mums that group sense. that attacked a Doctor Who. Yeah, mums groups are fucking crazy in in the UK. It was uh, well, just no, after the Tom Baker. Era. Black women really the are getting tired. Fucking neutered because of it. Jesus. Of it the democratic good, plantation. Black women really do feel as though Hitler gets too much of a bad rap. You know, Thank this is a real Thanks, opinion dude. that black women in America have. They think Hitler has just what? not been treated oh, fairly God. by the mainstream media. That is unironically what's happening over there. I feel what? like you guys are so sensitive uh, to um, the the Bernie or bust like um, rhetoric. That when I employ it in a completely different context, you pick up on some of the, com the comparisons, like the similarities, and you think, oh, he's doing the thing, not understanding that the problem with the Bernie or Bust logic is not, like, existential uh, aversion to the- Oh, he's trying to- okay, so everyone's saying he's doing the exact same shit he criticizes Bernie or Busters for. Let's see how he let's see how he threads this fucking needle. Concept of not voting for the lesser evil and is rather specific and contextualized within the American political space. Oh. Whereas if you go over to what Oh, it only works in America. Okay. Keir That's the answer. Doing it. It's like holy shit, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, like, he's literally he just doesn't have an answer. He's just making shit up. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. He's just like, yeah, but it's not America, so it's different. Oh my labor, god. Uh, labor will win though. I then it'd be good if you examine labor the fucking political landscape. Wait, Without wait, the sorry. context of America, then Vosh, he, every comparison he's done has been incorrect to Biden. Wait, wait, sorry, he's about to make a prediction about the outcome of the election. Let's watch. Do not oh. see much of a difference between either of those cases. Wow. I know that between people are going to say, but their, pol their policies are different. Their policy proposals are different. Everything that Keir Starmer and the Labour Party has done over the past oh. few years has given me absolute. Absolutely no reason to believe that they're not just controlled opposition. They literally let the Tories win Bruh. over letting no. Corbyn win. Like they, they, the Tories won because Corbyn was a toxic fucking asset, and then they reshaped the party to get away from it. They gave Corbyn two fucking tries. In fact, what's crazy is Keir Starmer was actually very loyal to Corbyn. He was the shadow Brexit secretary. He stood by him when he resigned. He said that it was purely because he wrote Corbyn an apologetic letter saying it's because everyone else is doing it. Unfortunately, like he literally has been like one of the more disciplined. Um, like backbenchers or frontbenchers in, in in labor politics in history, like he's actually he actually followed the party line from Corbyn ninety nine percent of cases, and every time he swayed from it, he had a very very reasonable reason for it. <sighs> they are so in line with conservative interest that they were they preferred the conservatives winning over Corbyn being the leader of the Labour Party as they won. Like, I, I just, I have no reason to trust them, to believe them. There is no comparison within this in American politics. The Dems have not done anything like this. There is no comparison. It's it's insane. It's genuinely insane. Labor is way better on climate change. They say they are. Sure. Well, what are oh they actually going to do? I don't know. I don't know what they're actually going to do. I don't know what they're actually going to do. I know do. you oh, don't know. Oh, oh, I know you don't know, Vosh. 
Oh, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna fucking rip to shreds local planning permission so that they can build onshore wind farms without NIMBYs getting in the way. They've already started implementing this. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna build onshore wind farms. Fuck you. That's day one. It seems like every time they indicate where their values actually lie. <laughs> uh, well, look, I mean, I want to reduce poverty and inequality. I didn't go into politics, but how do you do that? What are the practical well, things that we can do? Well, your suggestion in that quote was to tax the banks more and those earning more than £100,000 more, but you've gone back on that. Well, look, the way that I think that we can lift people out of poverty and reduce inequality, as I say, is to get the economy growing. And that has been the missing ingredient these last 13 years. Now, you know, Phil... It is, it is straight up true that economic growth and redistribution are important. So growth is a, is a way to do that with less political capital, yes. Should they be taxing the rich? Sure. Is taxing people more if they make over 100 grand in income correct? No. Income tax is fucking stupid. Rich people don't have any fucking income. They have wealth. They sit on hundreds of millions of pounds of fucking real estate and businesses and stock. They're not making income. They're sitting on fucking wealth. The only tax that matters is a fucking wealth tax. Income tax is pointless, yep. but it's too easy to avoid. There's a million loopholes. People, if you it's tax It's easier to income, enforce because most people that have income don't have the means to uh, avoid it. Yeah, basically. Yes, exactly. That's the problem. And the ones who do have the means to avoid it will leave. Uh, the, the doctor that makes 200k will actually go to France if you increase taxes. Do you know who can't go to France? Is someone who owns 100 million pounds of real estate in Britain. The assets are here. The assets are immobile. The assets can't fucking move. They're British assets. You can tax those assets no matter where the fuck in the world that motherfucker is. And if he doesn't pay up, you fucking repossess it. You can't repossess a motherfucker from the Canary Islands, but you can sure shit take his fucking property. Yep. Wealth can be hidden through loopholes, to be fair. Well, wealth is much harder to hide, right? Wealth is still, like, everyone knows what... It Everyone knows what every building in London is owned by. Now, it might be a subsidiary, it might be a shell company, whatever. At the end of the day, the physical building's still there and you can still take it if they don't pay their fucking taxes. Is, oh, I'm an, an ex-banker. Uh, ex yes, I am an ex-Bank of England economist. And the one thing I learned more than anything at the Bank of England is your sums have always got to add up. And what we saw less than a year ago was a prime minister and a chancellor who decided to throw that very simple truth that your sums have got to add up out of the window. And first, where does that first leave First anniversary, us? Liz Trust today. First anniversary, first anniversary today. And the damage that was done in those 44 or whatever it is short days is immense. And that damage... Last week, Labour pushed back their commitment to investing 28 billion in green energy by two years. Oh, so much for being good. I wonder why. You're literally watching, you are literally watching the Shadow Chancellor explaining how much money the Conservatives lost to the British government at the same time as you look at a price tag, triple the amount we're able to invest at all in any public services today, being pushed back by two years after we've gotten a little bit of growth. Yeah, we have no money. It's not like America. All of the shit that you've said earlier, if you actually believed it and weren't just a fucking racist, you would understand that it's because we don't have the fucking money for it. Yes, 14 years we have been a dying country. But then, but then he'll just say, uh, then he'll just say like, that's why your country's a subhuman piece of shit yeah, place. Yeah. It's a failed imperial experiment. You, you Destroy. Blah, blah, blah. The sea levels will rise and you'll all drown and you'll deserve it, fish people. Aye, but we still have kids. Yeah. We still have kids. Well, I mean, he will save the kids. He'll definitely save the children. That's for sure. <laughs> kids get the wall, dude. Good on climate issues. It was done because she thought the rules of economics didn't apply to her, and so did Quasi Quarting. And we have paid a heavy price for that experiment. But, but what this I will just never give up for play leftism. fast and loose with the. What's this uh, fucking called? It's media. It's just media. It's just. It's just. It's just. Um. It's. It, it's like it's just doom cycle. It's it. It's burn you. It's burn your bust. It is identical to burn your bust. It is literally the exact same. It, they're tired and they're angry. He's doing the exact same shit Chapo Trap House has done for years. He's doing the same shit Hassan has done for years. It is just give up. That's it. It's already too far. I've lost my hands. Let me be a, yeah. a millionaire streamer in peace, please. Yeah. Because the people who pay the consequences of that are ordinary working people and some of the poorest people in society who are now facing higher rents, higher mortgages, almost the collapse of the UK pension market because of. I remember very well because thirty. This question, you know, the economist. That okay, he just skips around randomly because she was saying stuff he didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I guess. 
that she quoted. Like, hmm. That was actually you. Woman talking? <laughs> nothing. I've, I've never seen I've never seen Vosh give a coherent economics take in my fucking life. Like I, I I actually he truly just doesn't actually know the basics. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't have any commentary to give on actual This is this is why. Oh my god, this is it. Wiz, I figured it out. He doesn't know because he doesn't know. He thinks that that Labour is a substanceless party because he doesn't understand any of the policy. Because Labour policy is just policy. He only understands the optics. Yeah, he yeah. literally only yeah. understands the optics. But that's it. That's so everything it. he's responding to is like optical things. Nothing matters. Which but is like, yeah, the the Labour has played it very safe and they've played it very close to what the British public wants, optically. Oh, man. Uh, well, look, I mean, I want to reduce poverty and inequality. I didn't okay, go... Okay, yeah, just liberal... Oh, 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 that's the part... I want to reduce poverty and inequality. Oh, let's move, let's move on, let's move on. Fucking, fucking piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit. Jesus. Democrat Christ. leader Sir Ed Davey <laughs> says, the <laughs> phrase so woman, adult, human, female doesn't really encapsulate the debate. A trans woman is a woman, a trans man is a man. What is wrong with this phrase? Woman, adult, human, female. Well, Liberal Democrats believe that um, trans rights are really important because... that That's the leader of... Uh, there's the Lib Dems, okay? Yes. No, Vosh. Look into the history of the Lib Dems. No, Vosh, don't. <laughs> no, no. Don't, Vosh. Delete the lolly, Vosh. Delete the Don't delete fall the for the, 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 the no. former right-wing party. Delete the, the Lib coalition, Dems. Vosh. Delete the coalition, Vosh. The centre-right Vosh. fucking Lib Dems. The coalition, Dems. Vosh. Open the Nick Clegg Volder, Vosh. Please. Look on Wikipedia, Vosh. Just remember what we just watched with Keir Starmer. Beast. That's the Lib Dems. <laughs> Trans people are some of the most discriminatory. Uh, oh, and by the way, you know what's? Oh my god, dude! Oh, sorry, I'm so angry. Okay, do you know why he likes trustworthy the politicians? You know what's? You know what's so fucking funny? You're so like you are 100 percent right. It's pure optics. The Lib Dems are literally just an optics party. So much yep. so that their leader is just doing funky stunts. That's it. That's all he did. He just yep. did funky stunts. And Bosch loves it. Bosch can only like understand what he directly sees in front of him at any given yeah. time. Oh my god, Clegg was uniquely better yet. Well, tell me about it. against you now. Do you actually think Starmer shouldn't have given an answer like this? I think Starmer gave the correct answer in that situation, 100%. You're, 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 you are on Turf Island. You have to thread the needle. If you don't, JK Rowling will fucking end you. She will. She has that yeah. level of power. Like, her she's and her Turf money, Cabal, dude. she's got the money. They all do. They are backed by the media. Like, you can't afford to do it. Rishi Sunak could genuinely single-handedly win, uh, win the election just based on women are going to get raped by, you know, prisoners. Like, that is that is yeah. all they need, is that optics win. But Starmer never gave it to them. Starmer played it super bland, down the middle of the line. He, yep. he, what he says, he says words that include the possibility of the existence and acceptance of trans people, and also include the possibility of existence and acceptance of people who are scared of trans people. That's what he's doing. He's the Labour Party's only objective was to get across the line, yep, which they exactly. achieved. So yeah, unfortunately, I, I would do the, I would do the exact same position, uh, the, the thing in that position, 100%, I would. Because if I wanted to get elected, I know what I have to do. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not worth it. It's not worth setting trans healthcare back a fucking decade to lose again. I will. I will. To, happily... to basically have a comment about penises and vaginas. Yeah, I will. Ba a I radio will happily... bite or ten years of medicine. Give me, give me, give me the fucking choice. If you tell me I have to be transphobic for ten years, but I can secretly smuggle in some pro-trans policies, I'll fucking do it. I'll do it twice. Okay, I will happily scream from the rooftops at the evils of trans people while getting them the healthcare that they need, while giving, getting, working in the background to provide the acceptance that they need. Like you have to, you have to play the game a little bit, or you end Policy up with fucking Corbyn, who lost twice. Like lives. It's yeah. policy that makes the difference. Yes. It has nothing to do with what an yes. individual politician trans, believes. Trans people don't commit suicide because Keir Starmer said 99.9% .9 of women don't have a penis. No no trans woman committed suicide that day. Do you know why they do commit suicide? When they lose access to their fucking healthcare. Society today, huge health problems, <sighs> high suicide rate. And I said trans women because trans men, as we all know, don't exist, unfortunately. They just don't. They're not around. I'm sorry. They just, I don't. They're just not, they're not a thing. Trans men are just one of the boys, dude. They're just one of the boys. Who, no, one's got, no one's got a problem with trans men. They're just one of the boys. We love them. Yeah. And I think everybody ought to worry about that. The real issue, I think, is the toxification of the debate. There was a time... Well, well, What's well, wrong I, with that phrase? Jesus Christ, is Ed Davey about to say something that is, like, fair to Starmer? 
The toxification of the debate. He's blaming the debate. He's not even blaming Starmer's. Holy shit. Woman, woman, adult, human. See, again, this is this is like the state of British media as well. Like, oh hey, God, okay, we're hey, watch the adult, human, we're female. Gonna, we're going to watch 30 seconds of it and then give our take. Them Hell, what's wrong okay. with that? Huh? Huh? Like these, they're, they're interviewing like powerful politicians and like well, this is legitimately what they're getting. I I've made it clear. When I know it sucks. I know it sucks that we're watching the entire video, but I refuse to be like Vosh, where you only watch a little bit of the video and don't give it the, <laughs> the full uh, attention that it deserves. And this deserves to be put against the fucking wall and shot. No one can criticise me for that. What I'm concerned about is on this issue, we have been working cross-party in the past. I've worked with Conservative MPs who agree with me, Labour MPs who agree with me. What's Aww. changed is Boris Johnson coming to number 10. Oh Boris my Johnson god! This debate. Davey is a based boy. Thank you. Yes, he's blaming the Tories. That's sick. He could easily be scrubbing... Yeah. Well, there's, uh, there's no ground to gain by blaming Keir because Keir's not the fucking source of it. Well, no, but there is. A hold on, there is absolutely grounds again. If if Lib Dems went, if Lib Dems did pro Gaza, like hardcore pro Gaza, like schizo pro Gaza, and they did schizo pro trans, they would pick up well, more votes for sure. They would, you're they you're would. forgetting, you're forgetting the plan at this time was Labour wasn't going to perform as well as it was, and That's a true, coalition yeah. was on the board. That's fair. Um, he set up a culture war unit we've, we've, we've in number jumped, 10. We've from a phrase to Boris Johnson. I do want to come back. Oh wait, this is a two-year-old thing. Did the Lib Dems update? Their statement on transphobia. Holy ah! shit! What is this statement? Oh my ah! god! Statement lefty meme. No, this is this is still actually better than the uh, the Labour Party stance. This is basically oh, saying like, shut hey, up. we don't tolerate shut transphobia, up, which includes like abusing them or trying to take their. Starmer doesn't tr Starmer doesn't tolerate transphobia either. He didn't say he was pro trans. Uh, he just said he's okay. He he understands why women are scared, especially victims of sexual abuse. That's what he said. He understands. They're wrong, but he understands. Can he say that rape victims are wrong about anything? No, that's political suicide. Rape victims have all of the correct positions on everything, unfortunately. <laughs> that's that just how politics works everywhere. You're not allowed to criticize them in that way, but it is true. It is true that they get spooky and then the TERFs leverage it. The rights away, but also yeah. you have a free speech right to be gender critical. Um, it seems like this is like a cowardly, worthless fucking concession but it's still actually better than the Labour Party. Oh my god. Incredible. E even this, even this, like the weakened Liberal Democrat position is better than the Labour Party position. How does the gender critical group have such a chokehold in UK politics? It doesn't. Oh my god, he's so wrong. He's just wrong. He knows nothing. This oh. is wrong. I it's just conservatives. Already. They it's do the not, same thing over here. Not. People like JK Rowling, who, by the way, just Feminism cavort and deal with difference. like far right it's and Nazi difference. types all the time with no problems at all. They, this isn't like gender critical oh ideology. God. This, this like, once again, unfortunately, this is that's one of the differences between the US and the UK. Yes, in this the is UK, a lot more people are sensitive yeah. to it. Yep, this is, this is, literally, what happened with the suffragettes. A shitload of them become fu became fucking white nationalists and were pro-Nazi right afterwards. It's crazy. This isn't the kind of feminism this. or whatever. The majority of women- yeah, He doesn't know, he doesn't know feminism, he doesn't know economics. What does he know? What's he an expert in? What is he an expert in? Does he have, like, an area that he knows? Uh, policy? I know no. what he's an expert in. <laughs> yeah, true. In you're it. right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, the, the, the number of pixels required to turn a child's body into a goblin's body. That's the, that's the, that's his level of expertise. The, the precise yeah. number of Identifying pixels. Identifying goblins between <laughs> yeah. Other children. Yeah, yeah. In the UK, are pro-trans. It's overwhelmingly men who are anti-trans. This is, yeah, they're elevating a very small subset of voices uh, right. in order to cloak the fact that, like, there are a bunch of uh, uh, TERFs running around yeah, yeah. over the UK. Are overwhelmingly right wing. All that Keir Starmer is appealing towards transphobes and the gender critical types as a way of bolstering his numbers is pathetic uh, and indicative of him having towards transphobes and the gender critical candidate. The fact that Keir Starmer is appealing towards transphobes and the gender critical types as a way of bolstering his numbers is pathetic. Okay, it's pathetic to try and win. Uh, and sure. indicative of him. Actually, common leftist position. Yes, true. It is pathetic to be in power. Most leftists agree. <laughs> Having no real principles. <laughs> Vosh, you were the guy in 2016 who says Hillary is not better than Trump. Oh, the fact that you're making this comparison is indicative of just like a complete disinterest in oh investigating God, Americans dude. on your part. This is crazy. This has been happening to him so much. The Russia-Ukraine thing yeah. as well, where he was like, uh, you shouldn't dehumanize Russians by calling people or uh, by calling them orcs. Based, by the way. Followed by 14 clips of Vosh saying, uh, the police are pigs. Uh, the Russians are orcs! Ah, uh, the bourgeoisie are animals! Uh, it's not dehumanization, it's animalization. You're a fucking animal. Bruh, that's so lame! Yeah, he literally is- he's just- he's just- this is- this is it. What we- what we are watching, a Kurt Vosh, is the gradual condensation of his hypocrisy- I'm speaking in Vosh language, by the way, can you tell? The gradual condensation of his hypocrisy crystallizing into a final form 
of Hassanabi Cope. He's just gonna become a Hassan fucking waiting room. He is no different anymore.